Okay, so we are back. Hopefully that's everything good. I had to fix everything because I've been playing Fall Guys all weekend. Uh, but I think everything should be good. So there we go. Hi, how you doing? Welcome. We are back. Um, <laughs> Nez, hi! Bite great white shirts to assert dominance. Don't delay do it today. I'm absolutely not going to do that because um, I love sharks. I hope you're doing well. Um, also, I tried to wear a green outfit because I dyed my um, I dyed my hair green, but then I'm realizing on camera it looks blue. <laughs> so like, why did I bother wearing a green outfit? Because I don't look green. <laughs> it's very disappointing. Everything's very disappointing. My hair is like really bright green, and I feel like I'm lying because it doesn't look green. And like, I, I can see myself, and it doesn't look green. Oh dear. Hi! Yeah, you look very aquatic. I'm gonna see if I get some natural light in actually because I'm wondering if natural light might make it look more green. I'm very disappointed because like this is like it's so green. Is that any more green? Do I look do I look even a hint of green? I don't think I do. I don't think that I look even a little bit green. It's it's like Joker green. It's really green. Like it's so green and it's green the whole way, which is very disappointing. It's green. <laughs> no, I'm not keeping that open the whole time because that's bright. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh dear. But yeah, I just have to take my word for it, really. I don't know how. I don't know how I can. I can tell you. Nope. Teal turquoise. Sea green. Aqua, but not green. I know. This happened last time as well. When I was like, I've died. I've died it, but I've have used different green this time. This time it's a. Uh, I think it's called Venus Envy. Uh, so it's like it, it's the green, the greediest green. It's it's very green, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll put on like a proper green outfit and everything. Doesn't come up green. Oh dear. Hey ho. We'll try what we can, but it, it's the bluest green. <sighs> It'd be like that sometimes. I try my best, but hey ho. I mean, yeah, cause it's like. I, I mean. See if I can find any of these that look somewhat similar. None of these colours come up as... Actually, which fabric were we going to use? We were going to use... The lighter of the two colours, I believe, to use as a base. No, we're going to use the darker of the two colours to use as a base today. But it... Yeah, this is my hair colour. And this actually doesn't look very green on screen, does it? But this is, this is very similar to my hair colour. And yeah, actually, this doesn't look very green on screen either, does it? <laughs> what, actually, does it look any greener on this screen? No. In fact, neither of these look very green on this screen. Why is that? Why do these not look very green? <laughs> this is green. But then, like, why? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, the green is blue, yeah. These are so vibrantly green to me. When I see my hair in the corner of my eye, it's so vibrantly green. Then I look at it in the corner of my eye and I'm like, blue though. Blue. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing some smaller wefts today. Because I've done some big wefts and I'm like, they're layering up pretty well. I maybe won't need as many as I think I need because these are getting pretty thick. And as much as I do want a really thick wiggy weft thing, with the layers I'm adding, it might be worth making some smaller ones because I don't want to get to a point where I've made too many big ones that if I start making any smaller ones, I've put myself in an issue. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make some smaller ones. Uh, this one can get out of the way though. Yeah, that that's what we're doing today. Oh dear. Oh, honestly, I never really put effort into outfits. No, I, I, I give it a go. Absolutely pointless. What was the point? What was the point? Oh. Uh, Right, let's get my pan. Also, I, I think the camera's all right. I had to reposition it because, <laughs> I don't know if it was because I was too in, into playing Fall Guys, but it actually fell down. <laughs> um, and so it lost its position. Uh, maybe I was just enthusiastically playing Fall Guys too much. Too much enthusiastic Fall Guys playing. Because I've leveled up quite a bit over the weekend, considering that I was also going to work and such. I, I, I feel like I did pretty well. Um, okay, where does it need to go to? Oh, got some 
big hair on there. Uh, it needs to go to... Let's do a half size one. Give that one a go. Which will take it to there. That seems like a pretty good... That seems like a pretty good one to start with. Literally the size of the camera screen, huh? <laughs> nice! Yes, perfect. It's the size of the camera screen, couldn't be better. And that'll cut me out too, so that's a, that's a good place to start. I'll do two. And then if I despise it, I've only made two. <laughs> and I can always put them on top or something. Uh, so this should have a darker colour all underneath. And then I might do a couple with the lighter colour underneath again as well. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what I think. Because at the moment all the wefts have the, the lighter colour underneath. And I just wanted a couple which are a bit different. I don't know. Get some variety. It was getting a bit too stale with all the same colour happening everywhere and I was just... I was just not very keen. Just not very keen. I need my pins a bit closer though. Oh dear. And then I just have to remember that I need to use that middle line to do the, the cuts up to to make sure they still get a good amount of float floatiness. I'm gonna have a bit of an awkward... Oh, actually, that's fine, actually. I can take that piece and maybe use that for ruffles at the end. That bit, bit there. That's okay. I can use that for ruffles. I've also been using the new editing software and I've got all of the, the pieces of the stuff, the stuff that I have from the wig so far from the old editing software into the new one now and I've got all that together it, it's not great because I haven't put any of the fast forward in so at the moment it's like six hours of footage which is not great I need to I need to I need to put some fast forwarding in there but it's a start it's a I, I feel like it's a strong start I'm proud of myself I'm still really bad at that sort of thing but I'm enjoying it. It's a lot more enjoyable in this new software, at the very least, compared to what I was using. It just feels like it's working with me a bit more. Um, and there's a lot of tutorials and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm having a good time with it. And it feels like it's letting me do the things that I want to do more, which is nice. Because before, I'd want to do something and just be there like, no, no, that's not a thing you can do. Not in this one. I'd be like, oh, okay. I guess I will set my sights just a little bit lower. I'm just adding the seam on this side as well, which is not really what you're meant to do, but I'm adding it on this side because I need I need to add a little seam somewhere and I can't add it on the other side. <laughs> That's been fun. Oh, yeah, things have been going pretty good. Also, the weather's cooled down. That's nice. We've had like three thunderstorms, which was fun. <laughs> We've, we've only lost internet one more time since I've last streamed, and that was on Friday. On Friday we lost internet. <laughs> uh, only very briefly, but I'm glad I didn't stream on Friday, uh, because that was... Uh, we had to do the whole, like, you know, just sitting there. With, I decided to sit there with no internet and just be like, I feel like a pain. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't stream on Friday. That would have been that would have been a pain. And also, I was busy on Friday anyway. So that was good. That's good. Rain has been lovely. It has been. I mean, it wasn't so lovely yesterday, and we had another storm yesterday, which didn't cut out our internet, which was good. But um, I, you know, because I work on the weekends, <laughs> we had like so <laughs> leaving work. I left when the storm had started in Cardiff, and there's loads of cranes in Cardiff. I always feel a bit nervous being surrounded by cranes and there's just thunder and lightning. I was just there like, oh, oh, there's a lot of cranes in this city. I'm not sure about that, especially near where all the public transport is. But um, other than that, it was it was cool. It was nice. Because the cranes are very tall metal structures. And I was just there like, oh, no. But uh, yeah, and I feel like other than that, it was pretty good. Also, I got absolutely soaked, but I don't mind getting soaked on the way home from, from work as long as I don't get really soaked on the way in. <laughs> and so it was all right. It was all right. The rain has been nice, to be fair. <laughs> Although, again, it's just a temperature dropping. Just a temperature dropping. 
I, th I would have taken just that because like it's been like what 16 80 the last couple days and it's been like, oh, so nice so nice i like pokemon hi how you doing i hope you are doing well you british bloke i'm british lass but i'm doing well thank you how are you doing <laughs> oh dear oh god yeah it's been so nice just not having it being like you know 30 degrees waking up 30 degrees last night it was 30 degrees and it's the humidity is like 90 percent and it's like Ugh. i know for like any australian folks who have had it much hotter like in their summers they come in and they tell me it's like it's been 45 degrees and i'm like i okay, know but like it hits 25 here and i'm like it's too warm <laughs> Just chilling, eating breakfast. Lovely. Lovely. That sounds delicious. I hope you're having a nice breakfast. Oh. Uh, I had toast. I have toast pretty much every breakfast. I'm very boring. I just <laughs> eat the same thing every single day. Where's my ruler? I've put it somewhere again. I think it's probably downstairs, which means I can't make this into a ruffle right now. It's like a silly. I have left it somewhere, but that's okay. I'll do that later. Ooh. Oh, but saying that, should I make ruffles out of the lighter fabric? Because I did do that on the darker one. Mmm, they looked really good though. Yeah, I should probably do that. Okay. Maybe I have a strip of fabric I can use. Or like a strip of paper. I'm just going to wander off. <laughs> There's probably a strip of paper I can use somewhere. There's normally one lying around on the floor. Yeah, there's one. There's always a strip of paper. I can use that. That's one of the ruffling ones. Lovely. I just cooked myself a breakfast burrito. God. That sounds good. Oh. See, if I had the energy in the morning to cook myself a breakfast burrito, <laughs> there's a level of organisation I do not have in the mornings. In the mornings I wake up, tea and toast and I'm like oh, I've got my life together <laughs> oh dear I don't I don't know if I could get it together to, to make myself a whole burrito but I'd love I'd love a breakfast burrito <laughs> right let's get this uh, where can I put this in a way that would make it easily cuttable I don't know this gets a bit complicated <laughs> because I've unfolded it so many times and then refolded it in different ways. I'm not exactly sure what the easiest way it would be. I did also actually have, I had a piece of toast and I also had a breakfast bra, bra? B breakfast bar. So I had like a few breakfast technically. I, I don't know, I got really hungry this morning so I actually had two. But I think it's because I didn't eat as much yesterday. And I had a two breakfast kind of if you if you count a breakfast bar as a, f a full a full breakfast yeah breakfast bra it's a breakfast bar is it's a bit of a tongue twister to me i struggle with this struggle with this word <laughs> breakfast bra bra breakfast bra nah see breakfast bar it ain't easy it ain't, it ain't an easy one hmm <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd count it as a breakfast. It's, I know that it's got like a lot of stuff in it, like they do pack it full so it can be like a meal, but I don't know. I don't know. It wouldn't feel like to me it's as satisfying as a piece of toast. And so I feel I would be hungry pretty quickly again. And considering the amount of stuff that it's got in it, I don't think that it makes it a good breakfast because of that, because I would feel hungry. <laughs> oh dear. Mmm. <laughs> right, let's cut some strips so I can make some ruffles out of ones. Just so that I can have one or two of them on these pieces, because I think they'll look good. And I don't want to miss out just because I didn't bother doing this. Uh, you know. If I think they'll look good, it is worth doing. 
not gonna miss out because I'm being lazy. Uh, go and I think one breakfast I really liked. It's it's kind of similar to Pollard's, but it's like ready break. I guess it's like a brand, but I don't know if it's made slightly different to porridge. But, ugh, I like that. That was good for a breakfast. That, to be fair, kept me full for a very long time. I'd often have like a smaller lunch if I'd eaten ready breakfast. Like, that was filling. But I really liked that. That was good. I know it's still around. I just don't really purchase it anymore because it's one of those things that... I find I eat a few times and then I get like a bit like I'm done with it because it fills me up too much and then I don't eat lunch but I really like that. Maybe you could call that breakfast. <laughs> I don't- I'd be- mm. Shreddies are all you need. <sighs> shreddies are alright. I, I put shreddies as like they're good but like I don't know if I'd call them a great. They're, they're good. They're a good of breakfast. There are other ones- oh sorry I just smacked the mic. Uh, there are other ones that I would prefer to eat, personally. Shreddies. Because shreddies were one that I like having a few times, but again, I get sick of pretty, pretty soon. Because I always want to cook myself for breakfast. No! Do not cook yourself for breakfast! Ah. Uh, but... I don't know, there are just, there are other, cere I, to be fair though, bear in mind, cereal for me is like one that I don't, I don't eat very often anyway, because I, I don't, I don't know. Milk. I guess it's the same with Ready Break though, isn't it? It's a lot of milk. That's probably part of the reason I went off Ready Break. The milk content. So early in the morning, it be getting me. But with Ready Break, oat milk's pretty good in it. Whereas cereal, oat milk is not what I want on my cereal. <laughs> no. I want regular milk and then I'm not feeling great <laughs> for the rest of the day. Or not for the rest of the day, but like at least until lunch. <laughs> uh... There's the, the, the hassle of being, having cows be angry at you. Wait, I'm I mean, I'm actually cooking food for breakfast. Oh, I see, sorry. Shreep! Hi, how you doing? A horn? We can have a horn. There we are. Oh, right, you like actually cooking yourself. Uh, I see, you like actually cooking for breakfast. That's fair. I mean, I guess it gets you up and doing things first thing in the morning, which is like a great way of like just getting out of bed. How you doing, shrimp? I can kind of respect that, to be fair. It, to be f it means you're much more productive than me first thing in the morning. It takes everything that I have to like get myself out of bed and just make toast. <laughs> Once I've eaten my toast, I'm like, yes, I'm awake. But like getting myself to making toast, mm-mm, mm-mm. That's the tough. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I trust myself to cook first thing in the morning before I've eaten though. I think that's when I'm most likely to burn myself. Right, let's get these made into ruffles really quickly. I don't think I need to make any more than this. I think that's probably gonna be enough. Also, because I know these make quite long ruffles. It's gonna be long. <laughs> right, paper, be gone. Uh, and that should be fine. <laughs> I'm doing okay, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Shrimp, I dyed my hair green and it shows up blue on screen. And I say I'm doing okay, but in reality, I'm only doing okay <laughs> because I dyed my hair green and it's like it's like joker green like like it's really green but on screen it just turns up as blue even I think on the oh no on this you can kind of see it a little bit maybe it's aqua but like it's actually really green it's like proper green and it just shows up as blue and I'm so disappointed and yeah so that's that's actually how I am Sadly, I must depart since I haven't slept in quite a long time. Ness, you have a good sleep. I hope you feel better soon. Good sleeps to you. Oh, dear. So, yeah, that's actually how I am. I even, I made a green outfit. And 
and yeah it it yeah and everything to celebrate being green and i don't even it doesn't even look green <laughs> so that, that's that's how i actually feel oh dear oh no can you dye it back no i wanted it to be green shrimp i was i was i was doing it with the intention of dyeing my hair green i made a green outfit i intentionally dyed my hair green I, I intentionally tried to dye it the shade of like joker green but then on camera it just looks blue and i'm so sad i mean uh, like what am i to do oh dear ggi how you doing welcome i hope you're having a good day we're just making a couple of quick lighter colored ruffles to go on the darker colored strips this though this is like a really good indication of what color my hair is and now that i look at it on screen i'm like this doesn't even look that green but this is the color of my hair but then i look at it on screen and i'm like does this look green maybe this doesn't look green but this is the color of my hair but it's like my hair is so green oh dear i'm good <laughs> Ah. Uh, can you change the light settings on the camera? I don't know. Not on I not very easily on my webcam one. I don't think because my webcam's quite simple. Uh, let's see. Web. Web. Gone into it. Oh, it because there's one open. It doesn't want to do it. <laughs> uh, so maybe not when it's already running. Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> But, yeah, it, it's a really simple webcam, so I don't know how easy it is. I mean, I can, I'll post a picture of it in the, in the Discord later so you can actually see the colour of it. Because it, it, it's really green. But, ugh. Oh. Yo. Yo. Very tired, I'm just trying to get enough energy to pick up some craft stuff. Oh, Chi Chi, I'm sorry to hear that you're really tired today. Is that because of the late night stream yesterday? Oh dear. Because you was, you was quite late. Oh. See, for me, I can't stream very late because this, this <laughs> is quite loud and I worry that the neighbors on that side would hear it so i always stop quite quite early <laughs> so that nobody complains about my sewing machine <laughs> and so that i guess kind of puts like a hard stop on me crafting which in, in a lot of ways is quite good i suppose oh dear i'm sure it looks lovely thank you shrimp i mean i i, I think that it looks really cool but i also i'm like really proud of my outfit like because i'm like flowers green 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 right but then on camera it's like blue <laughs> and so now i'm like now i just look like like a like a flowery blue lady and i'm like that's that wasn't the aim this wasn't the aim the aim was to be like nature lady but i guess that's fine a flowery blue lady me. i'm not taking the flowers off though i i found these <laughs> and i'm keeping them on <laughs> Because I searched for these. They were actually right in front of me. I had them hanging on my cupboard. But because I searched for them for so long, I'm I'm wearing them. <laughs> oh, dear. It'd be like that sometimes. You search just like so long that you just absolutely refuse not to wear it. <laughs> uh, it's the staying up for seven hours before the stream. Yeah. Oh, no. Seven hours after the oh wait, staying up seven hours after the stream. Oh, that is a long wait. Wait, did you even go to sleep? Gigi, did you even sleep? I don't think you slept. That doesn't sound like you slept. God, that's a very long time to stay awake. I I couldn't. Like staying up past midnight is tough for me. That's a like when it comes around to New Year's, I'm like oh. That's a very long time to stay awake. Oh, deary me. Void. Yeah, yeah, I slept for six hours. Okay, so you did get some sleep. Anything new with you? Nothing particularly new. Um, I mean, I I played a lot of Fall Guys this weekend, and that was pretty good. Uh, I I've I've leveled up a fair amount. 
Um, and I got Shiny to play on my account, so he's helped me level up quite a bit too. I have not had a single win the entire time. I've n still not won once. Uh, so that's that's been really good. <laughs> but I'm enjoying the game a lot. So I guess that's kind of what counts. Um, other than that, I feel like... Because on weekends I work. So not, not too much changes over the weekend, unfortunately. Um, that's why I can't stream, unfortunately, on the weekends at the moment. Because I've got to go in and do work. But I do like work, so it's kind of okay. It's kind of a, a one of those weekends where it's busy, but it's okay. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you don't get to see your colleagues, but that's okay. I still like my job. Oh dear, I missed. <laughs> I mean, it, it was it was a bit of a tough weekend, so I'm quite look. I'm quite happy to come back and do some streaming. To be quite honest, I've been really looking forward. To Oh, uh, getting back and doing some crafting. It was, it was it was kind of one of those weekends, but you know, like one of those weekends where it's very busy. You miss your train, you get rained on. Like stereotypical weekends where it's like in a movie where like everything that could go wrong, but like not really really bad wrong, just like minor wrong things that happen. But then you get to go home and play Fall Guys. Ah. <laughs> uh, which is exactly what I did. Actually, on both days, I went home and played Fall Guys. Uh, and the servers are actually up and running, which was really nice. I, I didn't have any server issues, I don't think, except I think I got disconnected one time, but that could honestly be, have been more on my end because the weather was really bad. Um, I got rained on pretty heavily at one point. That was fun. And, and I got stormed on twice. That was fun. But yeah, it was pretty good. Oh dear. I love Dem, hi! Yeah, so Dem, basically, my hair is the Joker green right now. But, um, and my outfit was meant to be all in green today. But the cameras decided that my hair is blue. <laughs> my hair is not blue. I've dyed it, like, bright green. And all of my cameras are like, no, your hair is blue. Uh, and I can't, I can't, I can't make it fix it. So here we are. Here we are. Apparently my hair is blue. It's not blue. My hair isn't blue. The cameras are lying. It, it, I don't know how to make it work so that my hair isn't blue. My hair's not blue right now. <laughs> but I wore a green outfit and everything. Oh dear. Nat, hi! Flower crown, hi. I just wanted to look like a green person. <laughs> oh dear. Other boss, <laughs> other boss approaches. <laughs> oh dear! Are you qualified for affiliate? Congratulations! Oh dear! Oh, and Mason, hi! Thank you for the spinning. That's very, very kind of you. Oh dear! Hi! Oh my God! Chat's going very fast now. <laughs> I stayed on the tube for forty so, uh, five minutes longer than I needed to before I was. Oh my God! Before I was devastated. I'm not surprised, shrimp. That that is literally devastating. Oh my god. Hey, then what's crackalacking, guys? <laughs> what's crackalacking? I I my camera is lying to everyone. Other than that, not too much. You're having a chill day. Oh dear. Oh, Mason, thank you. Oh dear. Morning, morning. Wait, make some ruffles. Uh. Oh, thank you for the shouting out. That's very kind. And shouting out, yes. Let's do the shout outs. How many channels do you mod? You hit them everything. Literally ev everyone. Literally everyone. You find a channel, mods. Everyone. Mods everyone. Hard yards this guy. Yeah, everyone. Mods everyone. Uh, that's a good. <laughs> Dear me. I wonder if actually, where, where did I put it? I might have a picture on phone to show you what co color hair is actually is because if. Gah! I mean, it probably bothers me more than it bothers anyone else. But you know when you've spent like. You know. It's probably gonna show like. Can you see the color of that? Is that sharp as green? Does that look as like green to you? Oh, nope, there it goes. Ah, uh, nope. Well, maybe you saw like a second of it. It's like green green. And that that's the colour. That is the colour. Oh dear. <laughs> I legit made a mod recipe. 
Amazing. Oh dear. <laughs> Them is the mod. Super mod. Initially looked green. Yeah, so that is that is the, the, that's the colour that this is. I just don't know why all of like even this one is like not not <laughs> not <laughs> Oh dear. Actually that title would go to Mr. Pike One. He mods over 50 channels. How does he keep up? How does he keep up? Is green, we get it. Oh GG it bothers me so much. I think it's like I, I think mainly it's just because bleaching and dyeing the hair literally takes like five hours work. <laughs> and like on Friday I was just doing like five hours of bleaching it and then for me to get on here and be like it's the same bloody colour it was before I did any of the work in it. It's the same bloody colour. Why would I even bother? I could have just done the same thing before. No one would have even bloody noticed. <laughs> Wait, so your hair's green? <laughs> Oh dear. Top down is better for seeing the green. I just have to do this the whole time. Like, hi guys. So I know you wanted to see like maybe the work that I'm doing, but like, no, it's just, this is now top head cam. <laughs> oh dear. It looks more green than the previous streams. I appreciate it, Dem. Appreciate it. I mod one besides my own. I find it kind of stressful. I mod one channel, um, which is Shifty Blooks. Uh, I'm not great. <laughs> But I am learning. Oh dear. You're not allowed to be green, says the camera. No. Not easy being green. Oh, uh, I asked how he does it. It's a simple never sleep. Yeah, that would that yeah, actually, yeah. I forgot about sleeping. You you would have to never sleep, would you? Oh my god. At this point Twitch has to pay for your Yeah, pay for your service. Yeah. Oh wait, you would have to never sleep, because they would all stream at very different times, assumedly, and oh, oh, no, 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 oh, that's a lot of channels. That being said, he could honestly just start his own channel teaching people how to mod, and I bet he'd do great. Like, come to my channel. I'll teach you how to mod other people's channels. <laughs> unless he already does that, or if unless he's got a very successful channel. Which he probably does, and I just don't know. But, oh dear. If he is teaching people how to mod. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what time is it for you, Jelly? I always wonder because we pop in on at similar times. For me at the moment, it's. Uh, seven minutes past 11 o'clock in the morning <laughs> so I always do morning streams generally and uh, normally on a Monday I do actually to be fair do an afternoon stream but we're getting storms in the afternoon again today so I <laughs> I switched it to my mon uh, like my regular morning stream just to avoid them but yeah I normally stream in the mornings because you know my sewing machine's quite loud and I just don't want to be really, really noisy for my neighbours because it is right up against the wall. <laughs> I've only been active on Twitch for three and a half months on several channels and stream. Yeah, damn, you're oh, intense. Mr. Pike streams too. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yes, Mr. Pike's shout out. There he goes. Stream and modding. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he does not. Not as active streaming at the moment. He only does YouTube podcasts. Oh, he does a YouTube podcast though. Jesus Christ, he's busy. I don't know if my brain could keep up with doing all of that. I'm like, I, I struggle with just like streaming, like mod mod Shifty Blue's channel um, when he does his streaming. And then <laughs> occasionally, like, uh, you know, well, when I have the chance to, I do the editing on like, like practice editing. And then other than that, I feel like as soon as I finish streaming, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Not because I don't like streaming, but just because like I'm like not tired when I'm streaming itself, but like when I finish streaming, I'm just like, oh, I had a really good time. That was really fun. <laughs> I don't know, like asleep. <laughs> I don't know why. But like if I if I was immediately going into modding 50 channels, I don't know how I'd have the energy to do that. Hence, he wants for Laura to oh, so somebody we somebody's known. God, 
morning suits me best now since with my new job I work from 1pm so I can catch you in the morning. Oh, Mason! I'm glad. See, mornings always have suited me better. I mean, I kind of just plan it around when I would have crafted it anyway, which is, again, it, it's it's suited around generally, like, I know that it, a lot of the parts of me making things are a little bit louder, especially this machine and the embroidery machine if I ever have to set that up running. And I don't like having them running uh, when it's a bit later in the day because of how thin it is between me and the wall next door. <laughs> so... I just try and get them going a bit earlier in the day so that I don't have to bother the neighbours too much. Um, because they're, they'll be at work at this time of day. Whereas later in the day, when they come back, I'm a bit like, oh, I feel a bit rude. I don't want to be that person being really, really loud and annoying and like bothering them. And, you know, I realise that I could technically go until like 11 o'clock at night, right? Like, noise laws and stuff like that. But also, I don't want to. <laughs> That, that feels a bit. And also, I, well, it's easiest for me to sew when I have a lot of energy, and my energy does tend to dwindle near the end of the day. Um, I'm not someone who often can work late into the night um, without losing a lot of my energy. And often I'll look at the stuff that I made late at the night the next day and be like, I have to redo a lot of it because it's just not quite up to the standard I'm looking for. Uh, especially if it's like stuff for a competition, stuff like that. It's just it's not quite what I'm looking for because. I'll have been tired or I'll have not paid attention quite as much as I needed to. Yeah. I try and set myself like six hours maybe as a maximum to work on cosplay a day for like concentrated cosplay. Uh, and if I start at like 10 at the earliest so that I have like a little chunk in the morning and then 10.30 works quite well. And then that means I can finish before people get home from work normally. But then if I want to do pinning, stuff like that, tacking maybe in, in the evening, I can do that because that's work that would never stay in the costume anyway in the evening. <laughs> and it's also not loud work, so I don't have to worry about bothering anyone. And that that's kind of, especially if I'm in like crunch time, that's kind of, well, I don't like saying crunch time because I don't really do that. So I have to be a bit careful about working too hard so I don't trigger migraines but like if it's getting closer to a con or if I'm wanting to work on something a bit first faster that's generally how I'll do it I'll do like pinning and stuff in the evenings so that I'm not just sewing for a whole day because that's not that's not something I like to do myself and at the end of the day if the costume isn't finished before the con it's not finished before the con <laughs> I have other costumes it's also why most of the time if I enter a competition, I tend to enter it like a week before the, the competition date is closed or stuff like that. Or like maybe the day before the competition date is closed, like I enter right before because the, the costume will be finished. <laughs> um, otherwise I just don't enter it. <laughs> because then I have no stress. Like, you know, it's done. I, it's done. I don't have to worry about whether the costume's going to be finished or time because the costume's already finished. And if the costume isn't finished, then I wasn't meant to enter that competition. It's done. Oh, relaxing. Probably not the most professional way to end thinking about things, but I'm not a professional. Uh. Dear me. I don't, I don't really deal super get great with deadlines. I think as soon as you give me like a big heavy deadline, I get stressed out about it. And then the more stressed I get about it, the more it's like, I'll cut, try and cut corners or things that I probably shouldn't. And then I won't be as happy with the finished product. So <laughs> I just want to keep dawdling on at my, relax, my, my little relaxed pace, making my little ruffles and things like that. Having a nice relaxed time. But then it's like, it also gives me the option of if I want to do things in the evening, I can do pinning and stuff like that. That's nice. <laughs> uh, I other people probably won't be the same. They'll like to, to work a lot harder or do do a lot more, which is fair. Other other people tend seem to like really with the work, and I'm I can't do that. I think that would, I think either I'd burn out really fast, or uh, it would give me a lot of migraines myself. I think it, I'd feel quite unwell. I think if I did that, but. 
I, I do like seeing, obviously, it's lovely to see costumes to come together really, really fast. Especially like really big ones, really impressive ones. But, oh, I don't think I could do it. All right. Pattering along. I like a little, slow little pace. Uh, I think it probably doesn't help that I do pick a lot of costumes with techniques that take a bloody long time though. Like embroidery. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, by the way, wanted to shout out Noticing and Kate. She's got 3k followers and partner with me time. Oh, yes. Congratulations to Noticing Kate. Wait a minute. I, I think I would have, we raided her with, did we raid Noticing and Kate with, um, oh, did, 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 did Doodle raid? Okay, or am I being silly? Because I might have been in that raid the other day. But do correct me if I'm wrong there. Because I might already be following. Yeah, uh, I think I'm already following her. But yeah, I do like her a lot. <laughs> I did. I, this is the thing, because I'm like, I'm, I'm awful for lurking. So. Oh dear. Minimal trace! <laughs> how you doing? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my dear, Helly Munchkin. Hi, how you doing? We're making a couple of very quick ruffles. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dem. I'm a terrible lurker. I, I, just, I just sit in there and I'm like, oh, this is nice. Here we are. Good little lurk. Oh, uh, and Turb, hi! The new hair is looking adorable and the flower can is- Oh, thank you! I appreciate it, Turb. Unfortunately, it doesn't show up as super green on camera because I am the superest green right now. But thank you, I appreciate it. I mean, it's just really nice as well not to have any roots again for a while because, you know, roots. <laughs> roots be like that. Oh, dear. <laughs> you do not want to know, but thank you for asking. Oh, minimal. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that again. I am doing very well. I'm doing okay well. You know what? I'm actually doing very well, but um, yeah, it's just the, the green not showing up on camera. But other than that, I'm doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. That's intense as well. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. What are all the colours I've dyed my hair? Uh, I went, who was the first proper colour I dyed my hair? Like, outside of like temporary colours. Uh, blue was first. And then I went bubblegum pink. And then I did like a, like the plum red colour. And I've also had it like black as well. Um, like, like actual black. Uh, I think that was when I wanted it to go to a more of a neutral colour, but I, I didn't want to have it to my natural shade, so I went black hair for a while. Uh, that might have actually been after the pink, and then I did plum, and then I did grey, like silvery grey, and I've been blonde, and then I did purple, and then blue and then green. Yeah. Those are the colours. Because I kept a lot of them for a fair amount of time. Like the grey and the blonde I had for a really long time. Uh, I also had the the plum for quite a while too. I did have it dyed to like the sort of like close to my natural hair colour. But like with a bit of plum in it for a while uh, as well. But not quite my natural hair tone. So I had that for a while. Oh dear. And howdy, yeah! I'm gonna have to lurk for now, but hopefully I'll catch you by the end, if not bright and early tomorrow. That's fair enough, Terp. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for the luck. Ah, oh, dear. But yeah, no, I've had, I've had a fair few colours. Um, there are some colours that I, I, I don't plan to dye it. Like, I don't really ever plan to dye my hair red. Even though I love red hair. Um, it's not a colour that I particularly want to see on me, because I've got a lot of red in my skin. Um... So I don't think red would particularly suit me. That's why I did pink rather than red. Uh, I liked purple, but I went for like quite a blue purple. 
I think now that suited me more than like a red or purple as well. Um, pink I really liked, but pink falls out of your hair so quick. <laughs> like I had to re-dye pink so frequently. Um, I'm, I won't do pink probably soon. Uh, uh, pink would have to be at a time where I'm happy to re-dye it constantly. Because as much as I loved pink, oh, it's expensive. Pink is an expensive colour to dye your hair, my god. Oh dear, wonders what black with hot pink undertone would look like. Or the reverse probably really good black is is a difficult color to get out of your hair so like when i was trying to go up i think that's why i went from black to the plum because it was really tricky to get any other color dark up this high no don't worry about it honestly if you've got other things to do you'd be a busy bean that's fine lovely to see you though i hope you're doing well oh dear <laughs> purple <laughs> oh dear yeah yeah purple yeah it was kind of like a purple color <laughs> It, is, it had like a blue undertone to it too as well, so it was really nice because it would be purple for a while and then when it faded, it faded to blue. Kind of like to this kind of blue as well, so like an acre blue, so it was, it was really nice. It had a lovely longevity to it, that purple did. Um, and I was that purple for nearly like a year, to be honest, as well. I was purple for a good long time uh, and I, I enjoyed that. That was a good purple to be. <laughs> good purple. Right, that's all of those ones done. How's the cosplay coming along? Slowly, but we have got four wefts now. We've got four! So we're doing some shorter wefts, because, you know, I want to I try a few shorter ones, but it's, it's getting there. It's, it's getting there. Slowly but surely, we are we are getting there. Oh, it's one of those things. It, it takes a while, but I hope that it will be worth it once it is done. I should drink some of my tea. I'm sitting there in the corner, getting sad. Oh, dear. I might take this off because it is slowly falling down my forehead. And also, my hair doesn't even look green. So, why am I bothering with flowers? <laughs> Back to the normal. Where are my ears? <laughs> normal. But at least you can see that I, my roots don't really show now, which is cool. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> BRB, y'all better behave. Heck no! <laughs> Wild West again. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, I don't know, I just like having colour in my hair. It's just, it's always been more fun. I've always enjoyed it more. Even when it was like, it was because I did it like a really light blonde. Like light, light, light blonde and that was fun. It's just really nice to have the colour in it. Like really nice. Even, I just, again, I often prefer having lighter colours as well. I just find that they complement the tone of my hair more. Other people may disagree, but, but, uh, I like it more. Uh, I did have a couple of customers come in at one point. Uh, again, I work in retail, so we often get, like, we have, like, regulars, basically, sometimes. And we had a regular come in, and she didn't recognize me, because the last time that she saw me, my hair was, uh, it was purple. And... Um, because, because that was the case, she came in and she was like, oh, does the, does the young lady with the purple hair still work here? And I was like, that's me. She was like, no, 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 no. You've got blue hair, the young lady with the purple hair. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, that's me. But I didn't want to just keep being like, that's me, that's me. So I was like, are you sure it's not me? She was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's not you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but I knew it was me! <gasps> I knew that it was! I'm the only one with purple hair! It was definitely me! But I, I didn't want to just keep being like, it's me! It's definitely me! It's me! So I thought it might come across as like aggressive, but like, it was definitely me! There was no one else there with purple hair! Everyone else's neutral hair tones! It was me! Um, and I was like, it's me! <laughs> I have changed my hair colour for- and like also, she was like, no, the, the girl I'm talking about has purple hair and she has some of it shaved. And I was like, it's me and my hair's grown, it's me! <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm gonna oh, be excited to behave. That- no one is expected, except as long as we- as long as we respect for it is okay. Honestly, I'm probably one of the worst on this channel, I bring up all sorts of topics. <laughs> Crying, where's Jelly? You're not hurt. It's like I am her. 
like, no, the lady I'm talking about has has the back and side shaved and her hair was purple. And I'm like, he's... Yeah, he's... He's... Oh my god. It was so sad, though. <laughs> oh my god. Because, yeah, to be fair, like, my hair has grown an awful lot over, like, since I last had a haircut, like... Of course, for, for people watching the stream, you would have always seen me with, like, longer hair. But, like, since lockdown, I my head was shaved. <laughs> like, I had it shaved at the side and the back. So, like, you know, you wouldn't see any of that because it's all long. But, like, all of the customers would have seen it with, like, shaved. And so... I was like, no! <laughs> it's... People <laughs> recognize me. Uh, but also because of course I wear a mask too, bear in mind, so it's not its not even like she just didn't recognise me for that, it's like I was, I'm also wearing a mask, so she can only see my eyes, my new hair colour and the fact that I don't have any shaved shaved parts on my head. And I was just like, uh, uh. oh my god, I shaved my back as well, oh you meant, oh, oh no, carry on, nothing to see here, oh, oh I'm so sorry for reading it out. Ah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Sad times. Sad times. Who knows? Maybe she'll maybe she'll come back in and be like, "It was you," and I'll be like, "Yes." I I hope it doesn't happen too often though, because I don't know. It'll be a bit sad if all of the regular customers just don't recognise me anymore. <sighs> like I don't think that I look that different. <laughs> Uh, Come on, give me, give me the ruffle. Oh, Deary me. Samantha, hi! Hi there, Cyan Head one! Oh no! I don't know how to tell you this, Samantha, but my hair is like Joker green. <laughs> the cameras are lying. It's like, it's very difficult because like, there's no way for me to prove this. Actually, no, there is. I'll just post it in the Discord later. But I dyed my hair like cyan green. I had that colour for a while. Yeah, so I've had this colour. And then I was like, yeah, I think it's the colour balance. But then it's like here too, right? Like, it looks really cyan. Like, it really does. But then, like, I look at it and I'm like, no. There's no way. I'm sure if I get maybe some natural light. Maybe if I... No. <laughs> what if I... Does this help? Not really. Nope. We're still looking heck in cyan. I can't, I can't fix this. <laughs> there is no way for me to fix this. But I will turn the light back on. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Trust me, Munchkin, if you only see someone's eyes, you'd be surprised how much you could not recognize someone. Yeah, no, I, I I, completely believe this because, of course, I see a lot of my, my co-workers and stuff like that with only their eyes at this point. And I have not recognized a lot of them. And these people I've worked with for years. And I've not recognized them and I'm like, oh god, H how am I not recognizing these people? These people I know. I know these people. Uh, color balance soft. Oh no. Bit more green on the top camera on now. Yeah, it's. It still looks very blue green to me. I think it's because I look at it and I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> it's alright, I'll put a picture of the Discord later. But it's. Uh, I dyed it Venus Envy from, uh, from the Manic Panic colours. Because it was, it's very green. And also because the colour I was using in, in uh, Manic Panic, it was kept going out of stock and then not restocking so I'm wondering if they're phasing out which is fair enough uh, but the Venus Envy one is like green green and I was like you know what I haven't been green 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 is not a colour that I've been so I decided to be pure green pure green everyone always recognises me <sighs> people do normally recognise me but I think a lot of what gives it is way is that I'm one of the people like there's only a couple people at my workplace that don't have a natural hair colour so it's like, I'm the one with green hair. <laughs> it's it's pretty easy to recognize me for that. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, 
That does kind of give it away just a little bit. Oh dear. No, no. Venus Envy. Venus Envy. Venus. Venus with a V, not Venus Envy. Oh god. Oh god. No. My purple has been washing out. No, that's no good. See, I liked the 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 purple I got from Manic Panic. It did wash out eventually. But when it did, it washed out to blue. So at the very least, when it washed out, it washed out to another colour. And I liked that. <laughs> I'm sorry that your purple is washing out. How does Manic Panic go on dark hair? I've always wanted to get some. I always put it on bleached. So I I don't I don't do it without bleaching it. But then my natural hair colour is like really dark brown. Like really, really dark. It's like the, the darkest brown that they always have on the bleach boxes is my dark brown. It's nearly black. So, um... I can't... Dye doesn't take on my hair without bleaching it. Uh, Manic Panic would not take on my hair without bleaching it first, I don't think at all. Um, but on bleached hair, it takes really well. Really, really well. Um, the only thing is my hair itself doesn't take bleach very well. So, it's, it, it's always a bit of a hassle. But for me, it's always been very worth it because I just love seeing my hair with colour. But it's you I have to go through the bleaching process. There are dyes you can get though, which do you say that they slightly tone the hair as they dye it, which I think would be better, because manic panic is I think meant to go over bleached hair. Whereas there are ones you can get which I think are like some of like the XX Live and stuff like that, you, which are meant to go over just normal hair colour, so they tone it slightly. I don't think manic panic is meant to tone it. I I, I yeah, I think. I think what gives it away is that there's always a very few 1M95 1m95 women about. Oh, wait! Oh, Samantha. I wish you worked with me. We could honestly do with some some taller women around. Because I work with a lot of women who are just a little bit shorter. Which, honestly, there's nothing wrong with. But for some reason, everything is... they Our shelves are all taller than us. And I don't know why they do this, but we have one woman who is a little taller that works with us and she is everyone's best friend because no one can reach any of our stock. No one. I don't know why they all, all of our shelves are built so tall because it's taller than all of the employees. It's taller than me and I'm like technically above average height. But like even if you considered that I was average height, why have they built all the shelves above people that are average height? It doesn't make any sense. Sorry dear, it had to be done. Yeah, <laughs> it did. It simply fears. No. Don't worry, I won't bite without consent. <laughs> I use evil hair, which is meant for bleached hair too. A munchkin army. <laughs> Whenever I go to the store, I become the rescuing angel. Yeah, I can imagine, honestly. We need more people like this. I... Why is everything- why are all the shells built so tall? I guess it's so people don't bop their head, but then also I can't reach anything. It's silly. Honestly, I'd rather just be a little bit more careful when I enter the stock room. Please don't put everything so high that I- that I have to go up a ladder to get it. <laughs> and like I can't reach anything. You don't really have to hand it to short people because they can't reach it themselves. Oh, it sucks. Like you just you look at the you you know you look at the thing that you want and you're just like oh there it is just out of reach. Uh, I think most of the really vibrant hair colors also just going back to it they're like normally specifically meant to go over bleach but you can get you can definitely get some that are meant to go over because I think the one that I used which was like the plum one was to go because I put that um, I I think I toned my hair when it was black and it went over that. But I had to tone it or something first because I didn't want to put bleach over the black hair because I was like, oh, I messed up. So I have Discord, right? Well, I made a fans only channel on my server, but it's literally just pictures of fans. Amazing. Amazing. That's a lot of fans. Only fans. Just only fans, though. Only fans, but it's an only fans game. <laughs> Amazing. I hope there's some good fans because. It's been really warm in the UK recently. We could do with some good fans. <laughs> uh, that's me looking at dating sites. So close. It's so far. 
There better be some damn good fans. <laughs> oh. Wait. I could probably do with a better fan. Like, I, I like my fan, but it's very loud. <laughs> Which means that if I ever have to use it during the stream, which is normally, it's never really aimed at me, it's normally aimed at a piece of technology, whether that be the PS4, the Switch, or Bob, the laptop. <laughs> um, it, I can't have it on very loud, because otherwise it gets picked up on the mic, and... So, I, I could maybe do with a quieter fan. I mean, it's not like a priority specifically, but... I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Quieter fan. I like my fan, but it, it is quite like it's one of those ones that really goes for it. <laughs> Gotta hand it to my fan, he really tries. Ah, uh, Banaban, hi, how you doing? Welcome. Hope you're doing good. We are back with green. More pinning, more green. Let's do this one next. Oh, dear. I also made it not safe for work just to give that extra comedic effect. Heck yeah. There's a lot of fans in this page. Oh, wait, I should probably drink more tea. More tea. Oh, I should also keep an eye on the weather. Because we're still in the UK. And the UK is still storm weather. How are we doing? How are we doing in the weather? Also, apparently it's 19 degrees. Doesn't feel like it, but apparently it is. They've got rid of the thunderstorms that are meant to happen this afternoon. Oh, that's nice of them. That's very kind. I could do without that. Okay. I'm doing great. Moved into a new house for the year on the weekend, which has been really nice. Yee! Fun to be around more students again. Oh, I'm glad when around. That's great. That sounds really good. I'm glad that the move went well. Moving house is stressful. <laughs> but I'm glad that it went well. Uh, I used to have a pic called Me in the Shower. It was literally a picture of a shower with the word me in the image. Whoa. Whoa. Falsely pick, that is. <laughs> oh dear. Do you use milk or creamer in your tea? What's creamer? I'm also not sure what creamer is, but I do use milk. I use uh, semi, semi skimmed. Semi skimmed milk. Yeah. Green milk. The green one. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Let me skim. Yeah. Milk. Because also, like, I don't use very much. <laughs> because I drink a lot of tea. And your girl doesn't do well with the milk, so. Semi skim. Not too much. Just a little bit. No sugar. Sometimes honey if I'm doing a lot of streaming. But mainly just a little bit of milk. And I like Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea is my favourite. We get it when it's on special because it's expensive. <laughs> so at the moment, it's just PG tips because Yorkshire tea was not on special, but I like Yorkshire tea. <laughs> also, Yorkshire decaf does not go into, I, I also mainly drink decaf, uh, if not only drink decaf. Uh, I only drink uh, caffeinated when I'm actually having a migraine, uh, but yeah, at the moment it's PG tips because the Yorkshire was not on special. Yorkshire decaf barely ever goes into special, to be fair. So when it does, we're like, hot. <laughs> oh dear. Thanks for revision, so I'm a lurk. But enjoy. Thank you, Ban. Enjoy your revision. I hope that it goes well. I don't do well with dairy myself. Yeah, the, the cow juice, it be danger. <laughs> I'm going to consistently refer to it as cow juice because people eat it, but... <laughs> Yeah, cow, cow be dangerous. Uh, I have a huge box of PG tips in my kitchen. I don't even drink tea. It, it's good in case guests come over though, because like, you know, the first thing I do when people come through the door is be like, do you want tea? We have tea. And then I can be like, I've got, I've got the fancy tea and I've got the not fancy tea. So <laughs> people have gifted me fancy tea and I, I really like the fancy tea, but I also feel like I should keep some. Case, case guests come over so I can be like, oh, a guest? 
Well, uh, I can offer you tea, but would you in fact like some, uh, we have some Earl Grey, and then we also have some of these ones with names? Because <laughs> some of our tea has names, would you like some of this named tea? I don't remember what the, the, the names of the tea are off the top of my head, because there's a couple of them. But would you like them? Here they are! And then I'll have to read the box to find out how they're brewed. But I'll offer them. So yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a huge box. Of, oh, sorry. A boyfriend from England bought it over and then broke up. I mean, so I'm stuck with it. Oh, no! Oh, the PG tips is pretty, it's pretty like sort of standard tea, I would say. It's not the best. They didn't bring you the best. Just putting it out there. So you know what? You've uh, you've, you've got off well there, because uh, they didn't bring you the best. <laughs> you could you can do better. <laughs> you want you want someone who comes over and brings you Yorkshire. <laughs> uh, that's the good stuff. Oh dear. And the, oh, my English girlfriend drinks. Oh wait, really? I mean, they're all right. They're all right. I mean. I don't feel a lot of people vouch for them though. They're like, I guess value for money, they're pretty good. To be fair, yeah, yeah, to be fair, value for money, they're all right. I don't hear a lot of people really stick up for them though. That's the thing. Like, if someone gives it to you, you'll be all right with it. But like, it's a very much, it's a very much like, mm. it's the best one, red, caffeine free. Wait, really? Really minimal? else is a red one red half and free oh you wait really i don't know it's it, it's it's all right yeah i'd put it right in the middle again i'd say i think i'd put it around pg tips level And it's, it's not, it's not, it's not the bottom by any means. There are, there are lower, there are lower tees. <laughs> like, I must say, one of my least favorites is Tetley's. Not keen on Tetley's. Mm -mm. We have half the EU in here. Oh my God. <laughs> Would you? I have five different types of, I like the herbal infusion. Fair enough. Yeah, I. That's fair. I got some from a little tea store. Got eucalyptus and vanilla in it. Oh, lovely. Okay, that sounds kind of. Thing is, I'm not. Not a big fan of the fruitier ones. Like this is a, more of a personal. That's more personal, like taste. I get that. I like personal taste. Not the biggest fan of those style of teas, which is probably why it's. Maybe not so much up my street. I can appreciate it. It's not for me. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why it never really, it re never really just like stuck with me. I'm not sure why. Cinnamon apple raisin tea. It tastes like and smells like uh, Christmas. Yeah, I've had it once like that once or twice. Those are probably my favorite of the bunch. Um, for the reason I like the smell a lot. I, I, I really like the smell. The taste for me is always what kind of throws me off a bit. Again, I don't think the taste is bad. It just, I don't know. I think the smell is better than the taste. It, it, something for me is always a bit missing with those teas. It doesn't have the robust taste that I think of with tea. And I think that's why I don't like them quite as much. But, Again, it's not it's not my cup of tea, <laughs> quite literally, and that's that's probably why. But I've got nothing specifically against them. Like, if you offered me that or an English breakfast, I'd go for an English breakfast. But I don't. It's fine. <laughs> if somebody gave it to me, I'd, I'd be like, all right. The only ones I specifically don't like down that ones are like I'm not keen on chamomile. Uh. The flavour of that one, it, I don't like it. I don't particularly like the smell either, but if someone next to me is drinking it, like, you know, fair enough. You enjoy your tea, but it's not for me. And peppermint as well, for me, 
it's not not for me and it, i know it's a really popular one but i don't really i don't really get it i don't know my ex was norwegian i've had enough cinnamon for one lifetime whoa oh i love cinnamon see i love cinnamon i i i put a cinnamon in everything cinnamon in everything Boyfriends fall all over Samantha. Minimal trade. No, no, just one boyfriend. The rest, wife and girlfriends. Ah. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna also put the top of this one down here. To be fair, they're all bringing tea. <laughs> it's after like getting the good end of the deal. You get to try tea from all over. I think I'm just like stuck in the British ways though, with like English breakfast tea style. Oh, the other one I'm not keen on that it's, it's, I think also because like whenever I travel abroad, the one that I quite often see is like twining style English breakfast tea for some reason. Um, I'm not keen on twinings. I don't know. It's not for me. They, they do other teas pretty okay, but I don't think they do a good English breakfast tea. Like, their other teas are fine, but English breakfast tea that they do is. Like, I, I don't think it's particularly good. At least not, like, comparatively to, like... Like, the price, sorry. The price is in, uh... Stuff like that. Of, of all the other teas that we have available to us in the UK, it's like, well... I don't know. My American girlfriend did be me chocolate. Oh, I mean, chocolate's a nice spirit as well. <sighs> I don't know if I'm a massive sweets fan, but I like chocolate. Chocolate's good. <laughs> oh dear. That being said, I feel like you can get chocolate. I don't know, I feel like you get chocolate anywhere in the world though. So it's, I don't know. Wait a minute. Yeah, you don't bring American chocolate to Belgium. Wait a minute. <laughs> I took a second to think about that. Wait a second. This is, this is a choice that they've made. Oh dear. I hope that, wait, that, to be fair though, as far as talking points go, yeah, she says it's a joke. It's a pretty good talking point. That's a... A pretty good talking. Ah, you know what? I think I think that's a pretty good talking point. I I respect that. I respect that a lot. Ah oh dear. <laughs> Ballsy move, just <laughs> straight up bringing American chocolate to Belgium. Like here we go. Try this. Oh dear, gotta go get ready. Oh, horn! Yes, absolutely, Mason. There we go. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm feeling chocolate. Cries. I'm sorry. Oh dear, zero! Your hair get long. It long. It's also die. It is definitely getting long. <laughs> very long. <laughs> How you doing, Zero? Oh, dear. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, in all trades, there's a really great handcrafted chocolate store in my hometown where I go and get boxes to mail to my friends abroad. Blime. Oh. oh. So I've only been to Belgium once and it was only for a couple days because we sailed there. So we weren't able to stop for very long. But we had Belgium waffles. Belgium chocolate on it and it was very very good I mean it was kind of like the only food that I specifically remember eating there um delicious I think the main issue was that I was just so like dang hungry so <laughs> I don't re really remember eating a lot except I remember well no I remember eating a whole lot but I don't re really remember the specific food a whole lot because I just remember stuffing my face constantly with literally any food I could get my hands on. I was just like, I'm eating. But um, <laughs> I 
remember the chocolate being really, really good. And like, we also went to like some stores. Good. But I don't think a whole lot of the chocolate made it home. I just ate it. I ate, I ate a lot, a lot. <laughs> oh dear. Just got back to the gym and then made pasta for dinner. Delicious. We had pasta for dinner. We had the little like filled pastas. Similar to lasagna, but not lasagna. It was good. Like, is it, is it tortellini I'm thinking of? Maybe. But they were very nice. Very nice. Like a good pasta. Pasta on a summer day. Very tasty. <laughs> oh dear. We've only ever driven past Belgium, but we drive from Sweden to Mallorca. So we went via Germany, Luxembourg, France, and so Oh, wait, that's a really cool drive. That sounds great. See if you can get go straight like through them. You know, even though you, you're not going there specifically, it's kind of like a nice little little like boop of the culture, which is cool. Cannelloli, cannel cannelloli, or pagatoli. I think the second one. The second one. It wasn't ravioli. Ra I, I know ravioli. Ravioli is is one of my favorites. I, lo I love ravioli. Ravioli is is like. I don't, it's always kind of been like a comfort food. I, I love ravioli. <laughs> Whenever I wasn't very well growing up, I'd often have ravioli. <laughs> like not good ravioli, like the tin ravioli, but I love ravioli. Because of that, I'm, I'm just very attached to like tin ravioli. Like whenever I'm having a really bad day, all I want is like either mac and cheese, tin ravioli. <laughs> One or the other. I'm just having a really bad day, please can I have tin ravioli? <laughs> On the plus side, I suppose, like, I'm very easy to, like, if I'm having a bad day, just give me tin ravioli. Very cheap. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be a big tin. You can give me one of the, like, kitty tins of ravioli. Like, that's all I need, like, little tin. Oh, dear. I think it was ta Taglia Toli. I think it's that one. That, that rings a bell. Ravioli is something I want to try and make someday. It's on my virtual bucket list. I, I would also be interested in making, like... It doesn't even specifically need to be ravioli, but like a filled pasta of some sort. I would be interested in trying it. I've made ravioli. It's a lot of work when you when you do it wrong, yeah. I think with any pasta as well, I imagine it's a lot of work if you don't get it right. I wouldn't, like putting that much work in and then not getting it right sounds like an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> oh dear. And ravioli just makes me think of trailer park boys. I don't know what that is, but you're probably right. Uh... Yeah, I used to eat that a lot growing up when I wasn't well, and I'd have like a little tin of tin ravioli, and I would feel better because I don't know why tin ravioli just made me feel better. The little thing sometimes, like a little a little tin of tin ravioli. Uh, easier to make ravioli than samosas, I found. I also have not made samosas, but I would. I would like to. Oh, I. Mm, oh, I don't know if I'd be very good at that, but I'd, I'd give it a go. <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna be able to say that. I made casa with lots of bolognese sauce, but then, but with Italian sausage instead of mince and some sort of chili in there. Ooh, oh that that sounds really good, Zero. It, zero that sounds great. Samosas use filo though, no? Filo dough? Oh. Not where I learned it. Okay, just guessing, so could be way off. <laughs> I have no idea. But the the frying makes me a little nervous, but it could definitely be interesting. And they're delicious, so I think I I eat a lot of them, but I don't necessarily know have any idea how to make it. The filling I'm not too worried about. Like I make a lot of things like that pretty regularly, but like the ah. Well, not super regularly, but like, I'm pretty sure actually my parents might have a recipe for something like that, so maybe I could just bother them. Like, parents, do you have a recipe for samosas? Can borrow? <laughs> they probably don't, but they might do. Actually, they might do. You never know. They might have an idea of how to make. <laughs> bother family. Uh, I think it's just because my parents are much better at that sort of thing than I am. Oh dear. Look, this conversation is really bad for my diet. I'm really sorry. I talk about food an awful lot. 
I like I like cooking. I'm not good at baking, but I really enjoy cooking now. Um, I wish I liked it more when I was younger, but there we are. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it does. <laughs> uh, I saw sure Faye was showing off my fooding pics there. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the spirits. Oh god. <laughs> Do not worry, sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> oh, happening here. I think it should be long enough, but it doesn't seem to want to stretch to that length. So, I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to let it not stretch to that length, I suppose. Or I could... And... The end? Mm, tempting, tempting, but I'm not going to. Not going to do it, not going to do it. Don't resist. And just pin it as it is. It's fine, it's fine. Got the set. Very upbeat song. I don't know if it maybe wants like a bit chiller than this, but I guess it's okay. I was kind of looking for more relaxed music, but it's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Right, that's all those lines pinned. Pretty cute. This is a shorter one, so compared to the other ones, it should be like comparatively in length. Not that much difference. Not so bad, not so bad. Just switched to my desktop instead of phone. Welcome back. But yeah, it's about that much difference. A little bit shorter. But not super, super short. Just a little bit. I shall leave you that part alone as I no longer drink the alcohol. I also do not long. Not, not longer. Not longer drink the alcohols. Oh. Right. Let's sew all these on. Hmm. Also, actually, wait, no. Almost so all these on. Do we need to do the bit here? Because I'm missing a tiny bit at the end here and I just figured I would maybe use this bit down here. I don't know if this bit will look very good down here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because, you know what? I don't want to waste a whole big piece. And it does mean there's two colours that are very, like exactly the same right next to each other. But that's okay. Because it means not wasting a much bigger piece of fabric and I would prefer to do that rather than have a waste. Waste in fabric here today. <gasps> there we go. Yeah, that's better. No wasting. There we are. <laughs> you ain't sure you sound like you do. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't need drinks to speak of weirdly. I'm also fluent in typo, gibberish, and drunkenies. Yeah, this is also... I, I'm pretty okay, uh, okay at typing, but in the speaking, in, in verbal speaking, pretty bad. I don't drink, but I'm pretty bad at verbal speaking. <laughs> there we go. Let's sew these on. <laughs> I might as well drink with how bad I am at speaking. I do not need the alchemy holes to speak as a drunk. way down to the bottom. There we go. One. What are we doing on bobbin? We're doing pretty good on bobbin. Yeah, this is the bit at the top that I didn't want to sew into the bottom because it's like quite a long piece and oh it's stuck immediately. <laughs> I just feel like the rest of that piece could be used elsewhere like much better. So because I think the rest of it could be used elsewhere much better I'm not gonna use it here. I'm just not gonna. It feels it just feels like a waste and I'm not doing that today. I'm also trying to use really easy materials on the back now because I started off using more difficult materials on the back and that was a mistake and I want to make my life easier not more difficult so let's try I just want to make it easier I'm not a native English speaker and I have ADD people are lucky if I finish the same sentence I started or the same language <sighs> yeah I am a native English speaker and it's, it's the only language that I speak I really have no excuse I'm just I'm just not good at enunciating and I, I do get sidetracked very easily and yeah, it, it, it do be like that sometimes. Sometimes you just don't know what you want to speak about until the sentence started and then you suddenly realise that there's just so much you could speak about if, it only, if only sentences had 
more structural variability. Variety. I could sp I could speak about so much. <laughs> Boo. Right, stretch cheek, stretch it. These bits really like to clump together, so I'm just trying to make sure I stretch it as I sew it. Uh, because I don't want it to clump together as I'm sewing this one. It's it's a it's a needle cord, so it's it's a little bit more difficult anyway. But we want it to be easy for me in a minute <laughs> when I cut down it. So let's again make my life easy, please. Easy peasy, there we go. I still got bobbin. I'll take all the needles out together as well. Uh, so the pins out together because. Um, yeah, I don't fancy taking them out one thing at a time, especially not when I'm on a roll, which I am right now. I don't know, I just don't, I don't fancy doing it. It's good to do it one at a time. <laughs> no, don't fancy it. I'm doing them all together. I just... It's more satisfying as well to just take them out all, to one, all together. Even though this does kind of make it a little bit more difficult <laughs> because there are so many pins now in this piece of fabric. And like the fabric wants to go in certain ways. It's like Jesus Christ! Oh my God, minimal trace. Thank you for spinning. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shakes poor Samantha. I've ADD tendencies as well, and English isn't my first lingo either. Oh my God! Welcome back, Dem. Oh Samantha, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to minimal trace. That's very kind of you. Oh dear. Oh. 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 Oh dear. That's very kind of you. <laughs> oh. Oh. My Swedish is a bit rusty, I'm afraid. Oh wait, was that Swedish? Pack for oh no, pack for uh, uh, ration given. Oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. I don't think I don't think I did that correctly. I apologise if I just absolutely butchered that. <laughs> I think that I absolutely butchered that. I'm sorry. Oh dear. There we go. Oh God. Munchkin almost ran her hand with the sewing machine there. <laughs> ah, I didn't. Don't worry, there is a, there is a... So I'm slapping it, I don't think you can see it. I'm slapping it. There is a guard in the way. So, as much as I will jump, I can't jump into the needle, so it, it, it is okay. <laughs> we have safety. Oh dear. Given is a gift. Oh, okay. You didn't butcher it too bad, Munchkin. Oh! Boys, attack is thanks. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's BRB again. Forgot my mug. It's the mug. I take that needle out actually because it's, it's in the way. Oh dear. Okay, so I need to go back to it now so I can see it again. Back to. Thanks. Something gift. Oh, so is it like subscription gift? Huh. I once got a sewing machine needle stuck in my nail. Oh, yeah, my one's pretty far down right now, so it, because I'm going through thinner fabric, it shouldn't be able to physically get over my fingers at this point. So I should be pretty okay. I mean, have I said it like this on purpose? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. I have been methodical in my settings. But you know, I, I we've talked about it before. I won't go over it again. We've I've had I've had injuries with with sewing machines, not this one in particular, but uh, with other machines, which have taken me to hospital. But um, it's because sewing machine is piece of machinery. It's danger. Respect. <laughs> oh dear. But um, every time that I've had an injury with like a, a big, big, bigger machine, because of me which i don't think will come as a surprise to anyone honestly that's watched this channel <laughs> um and i don't expect to have any injury in hopefully the near future touch wood because 
I have set up so that it should be pretty safe. And also I, I'm sewing when I'm awake and aware and not I'm not sewing with migraines and I'm not sewing um, you know when I'm really dead tired or overworked or anything like that. No. Should be okay. Should be okay. Ouch. Sewing machine if you cannot afford a real piercing. Oh. I don't I don't know if it's even a good option at that point. It, it, it's it's a very N no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no no. Oh dear. Oh wait, have I missed? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have. I'm getting confused. I'm like, the order of pink is... Because I want them to stay in a rainbow, but when I take a certain amount of pins out of it, I can't see where the rainbow is meant to be anymore. I need to like reorganize the rainbow again because I want to see the rainbow. Because it makes me really happy seeing all the pins in the rainbow. But of course, getting them to go in and out in the rainbow is a little bit tricky. And it does actually take me a fair amount of time every time. Oh dear. I just realized I've been awake since 9 p.m. yesterday. Small wonder I feel like someone punched me with a prick. Jesus Christ. Minimal. Minimal, that's a very long time to be awake. Have you considered maybe pop, pop, in, pop to bed? Have a nice little nap. Nice little sleep. I don't know what time it is there, but... It's a nice little sleep. Give your brain some time to rest. It's not, not, not good. Oh, dear. I don't function well with no sleep. If, if I, if I've, even if it's like, you know, I've just had a bad night where I've had like a lot of, a lot of dreams or stuff like that. Oh dear, I, I struggle. I struggle with, uh, struggle with that. It's just an hour later than me. Okay, so it's not so different then. Maybe like a little, a little after lunch nap maybe. I don't know if that's possible. I eat with work and stuff like that, but after, after, after lunch nap. Might be a good. To be fair, those are sometimes the best naps. Because you, you, you eat a nice lunch and then you just go nap. Those have been my best naps. Have a nice lunch and then just sleep. <laughs> Either that or it's an after stream nap. Both of those naps are good naps. But then actually for me, an after stream nap is also an after lunch nap because I'll eat after stream and then I'll sleep. Wait, you hate naps? Zero, why? Is it is it you someone are you someone who doesn't set alarms for naps or something? Or you sleep too long or it means you can't sleep at night? Or do you just feel like you're wasting the day? Cause like I kind of understand that. I mean for me, I find often that if I have a nap like I feel a lot more awake for the rest of the day, but I guess it's different for everyone. I mean I don't nap very often, but after stream sometimes I might need a nap and then I feel more awake in the evening. Oh dear. Yeah. I'd go to bed but it's too warm and if I sleep now I will wake up sometime around midnight and sleep be screwed up. Might still push myself a few hours and hopefully sleep all night. That's fair. It is it is different for everyone. Yeah, I'm I'm a very sleepy person generally, so uh if I sleep normally and have like just an hour or two nap I will still sleep at night. <laughs> I guess this is the benefit of being a sleepy person. I will, you know, take pretty much any opportunity to sleep anytime. I will always sleep. I think, again, because I get a lot of light sleep at night as well, so I'm often sleepy. Always, always sleepy. Always sleep. Always takes opportunity to sleep. Oh dear. Yeah, because I wake up feeling worse. I've heard that from a few people where they wake up feeling more sleepy than they went to sleep feeling. Which is, yeah, fair enough. Not gonna be for everyone. Yeah. Yes, yeah, again, I'm lucky. I, I'm a sleepy person, but having just a couple hours every now and again ugh, will make me feel more awake for the rest of the day. Again, as long as it doesn't go too far and it becomes like, you know, my night's rest kind of sleep, 
it's all good. So as long as it's not an accidental sleep, which also happens sometimes, where I'll just be like going around my day and just fall asleep. As long as it's not that, um, we're all good. Um, I can't do naps either. You would always set alarm, I sleep right through it and sleep for 10 hours when I'm meant to sleep for two. See, I'm a very light sleeper. So um, any, any noise generally will wake me up. Um, even if it's not my alarm, it could just be like a large van driving by will wake me up. So, um, you know, uh, an alarm will definitely wake me up. So yeah, in that way, I'm very fortunate. I don't, I don't have to worry about whether my alarm will wake me up or not. My alarm is genuinely just my phone vibrating and that's like instantly I'm awake. Um, I, I don't even have it on like a, a sound alarm. I don't need to. A any noise wakes me up. I'm a very, very, very light sleeper. Um, like the other, the, this is I guess the main issue I have with like storms, I suppose, and that like I love I love storms, I think they're really really cool, but I I, I wake up at anything, so if if it's storming at night, like I I don't sleep. <laughs> I don't. I unfortunately I I'll fall asleep again, but like as soon as the next crackle of thunder hits, I go I wake up. <laughs> oh dear. Waking up to an alarm makes me feel like I'm going on holiday. Oh no! Oh dear, you must be terrified of ever having a roommate then, you'd get no sleep at all. Um, it, it's one of those things where I fall asleep really fast, but then if someone makes a noise, I'm bolt upright. So I wake up really, really fast. Um, when I sleep in the same room with somebody, I don't tend to sleep very much. Um, I tend to maybe get one or two hours sleep tops. Uh, but then I also... I'm aware that's going to happen. <laughs> um, you know, the, uh, but then we've talked about this before in that when I am asleep with somebody else in the room, I'll, it's it's honestly worse than that. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's bad for both parties. Nobody gets off well in this because it's like, not only is it that like, I struggle, I also talk in my sleep. I also like, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Like, when I do fall asleep, I'm a nightmare. <laughs> and then when I'm not asleep, I can't sleep. So it's like, it's basically bad for everyone involved um, being in the room with me. Uh, it's bad for me and it's bad for everyone else because I prevent them from sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just a nightmare. I'm just basically a nightmare. Uh, I would feel so bad about waking you because I would never fall asleep just because I would be sure I'd keep you awake. But this is the thing. If I fell asleep, I would keep you awake because I, I am noisy. Um, not because I don't snore, but I will talk, which is honestly worse, I think. <laughs> I think snoring is one thing because it's like consistent noise. But when somebody turns to you and starts going, blah, 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 <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> um, and yeah. And also the thing is, even, even in my normal night's sleep, which is like a good night's sleep for me, I wake up every couple hours. So, I, but generally, I'm not someone who has like a, a, the best sleep in the world, which is a good, like we, we quite often, when we would talk about like migraines, a, a good idea of like why that I have like a overexertion triggered migraines is to do with my sleep. We have like a lot of like, mm, this might be linked somehow because I have bad sleep. But like, it's not like I have insomnia because I get to sleep really easily. In fact, I fall asleep like nothing. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've not we've not drawn any particular links between it so far. But we just know that I'm a sleepy person. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, no, it's like, I, 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 you know, I share rooms with people. It's just, I am aware that like, I might not get the best night's sleep. Uh, in the future, maybe I'd look into education or something like that. <laughs> so to try and knock me out a bit further so that I don't maybe speak in my sleep. Because I'll be honest, I feel bad about being that noisy person in the room with people. Because, you know, when somebody comes to me and is like, hey, you talk in your sleep a lot. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> like I do generally feel really bad because it's normally at things like Comic Cons and stuff like that. And like the last thing I want to hear is like, I'm keeping other people awake when everyone's going to be really busy the next day. Like 
I go into it expecting not to sleep well, but other people don't go into it expecting not to sleep well because of me. So it's like I don't I don't want to be keeping other people awake particularly. Oh dear. So I'm a very overactive mind. I I think it I guess that's a way of thinking at it. I think I'm just oh, very hyperactive. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna have to get some work done. Take care, Samantha. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck. Take care. Oh dear. We'll, we'll just be here ruffling. Oh. Uh, uh, I fell asleep with my TV on so I can handle a sleep talker. I mean, I guess that's. Maybe. Maybe. That might help. <laughs> I guess the difference would be though, with a television it's kind of a constant drone. Whereas, you never know, with me I might turn to you and be like, so how's your day going? <laughs> I have like a full conversation with you. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think that it generally is what I do. I, I think I generally just talk absolute garbage from what everyone's told me. Like it's not even coherent words. <laughs> like no one's told me they've had a conversation with me. People do just generally tell me that I speak garbage, which honestly I kind of prefer. I kind of prefer to hear that I speak garbage. <laughs> oh dear. Great, thank you. Thank you for telling me that I speak garbage. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh dear. I would welcome someone asking about my day, even in the middle of the night. Just turn around. So how's your day going? <laughs> <gasps> What's going on? <laughs> Milu keeps spoiling anime plot lines in your sleep. Oh god, could you imagine? Turn around. So this character's died, right? How do you feel about this? Like, I haven't caught up to that, anime, like, like that episode yet. No? What about this anime? This anime we've had these character deaths. And this character started dating this character. What do you think about this? I haven't watched that anime yet. <laughs> oh really? Okay. Well, in this character, these two have got together. What do you think about that? <laughs> Stop spoiling all these anime to me. Oh my god. <laughs> You're a nightmare. What if the spoilers weren't even real spoilers? Like, what if I was just making up absolute trash? <laughs> like, I was telling you spoilers, but they weren't real at all. Like, I'm just making up, like, stuff on the spot. They will wake up the next morning and we're upon his piss. You have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, I've read the manga, so, uh, this character dies, but it's, like, really late on. I know you've only seen the anime, but I just thought I'd tell you. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god, it's such an asshole move. And then you just say it in your sleep, but it's not even true. Like, it's not even true. So you've just turned over, spoiled something, it's not true, and then you go back to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. I, I, you know what? I'd be kind of okay with doing that, especially if it's not true. Especially if. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Honestly, as well, that'd kind of be the sort of thing. I guess it makes sense to do at some sort of like Comic Con, because you, you've got anime and stuff like that on the brain, and I feel like, I feel, feel like, you talk about, or at least you do, meant to dream about things that are on your mind, right? And uh, at Comic Con, you know, that's sort of on your mind? So wouldn't it make sense that you'd talk about anime spoilers in your sleep? Oh, welcome back, Dem! Oh dear, why are you upset? You told me what was in the basement! I don't know, I don't even know what was in the basement. I told you what was in the basement. <laughs> oh dear. Welcome back. Oh. Uh... Oh, I don't know if I'd be able to stop laughing if I did that. It'd be amazing, but also terrible. No one would ever share a room with me again. Oh. There we go. Got no more pins there, right? Cool. Got a little tiny squid. Tiny, tiny. It looks, still looks kind of probably about the same size, but it is. This is a small squid. For the upper layers. By the way, Dem, I meant to ask you a few weeks ago, but I keep forgetting. Where is Hobos? Hobos? <laughs> Are you 
season of Attack on Titan to get to a bloody basement and doing all that politics stuff. I like the politics stuff. We're families, blah, blah, blah. We want basement. I like it though. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the politics stuff. It led to some really good fight scenes and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Deserted, hi! Literally you done, gizzard? Why am I a gizzard? Also, how you, how you doing, deserted? I hope you're having a good day. We'll make hot chocolate and add in Dutch chocolate plain, because that's my 7 a.m.s now. Your 7 a.m.s are kind of midday though, aren't they, Dem? Oh no, I guess maybe they're a bit later than that. Dem, is 7 a.m. Mid midday for you? If you want me to enjoy that stuff, don't have any interesting mysteries hanging over it. I mean, this is true. The basement did kind of get pushed away for a fair amount of time. Points to the stars. Points to the stars. <laughs> Minimal choice. Oh dear. Oh, Phobos and Demrios are deities in Greek mythology. Phobos means fear, and Demrios means terror. Also, they are moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Never remember which. Oh, nice! There's a 7 a.m. Har de har dem. I never seen that the last cosplay. I never seen the last cosplay results. Oh, was that uh the Cobra Squire? We've put some pictures on the on the Instagram and they're also on the Discord and on Twitter. So they are they are around deserted if you are interested. They are they are there. Erebus means darkness. So your name is Terra Darkness. Computer. Loves mythology. Nice. Nice slurp of tea. Let's do the other side. Uh, it's not Terra Dark PC. Wait, what is it then? I'm kind of tempted to play Falk. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really enjoying making this weft, but like, I don't know, man. I was doing really well at Fall Guys last night, and I've I've still not won once. <laughs> I might play some tonight. I think. Make some wefts and then play some tonight. Fall Guys have kind of become my Animal Crossing now. I tell you, I'm very one-track minded with games. I find a game that I like and I become attached, and then I don't play anything else. Like, this is now my game. This is the game that I play. Terror Darkness Politically Correct! Ah! I, I see, I see. You made it to top eight. Oh. oh. Do it. You yeah, only had one once. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> when you said you'd have that many wins, I was just like, oh. <laughs> We have had the achievement now though. So I've played over a hundred games. I haven't won once. Not once. Not once. I have not won one game. <laughs> I, I, I've watched first place a few times. I've never won. Oh my god. Very upsetting. I really would love to win just once, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. I'm playing Fall Guys while listening to podcasts. <sighs> Amazing. I mean, I do feel like it's one of those games though where it's like you can just... It's really fun. It, it, you can kind of do other things while playing it. Like me and Shiny have kind of been playing it. Like um, we we can't play together because you know he can't get it on his PC and I you know and me play it on PS4 and we can't play together sort of thing, which sucks. Honestly, I would love to have been able to do that. That would have been really fun. Now that I kind of understand why it, what what people say when it's like it's not cross compatible. I'm understanding why that sucks so much because that would have been really, really fun. I would have really loved to have done that. Um, but, you know, we've taken turns a couple times after work and like that's been really, really fun. Just to, like watch him play a few rounds and you play a few rounds. And that's been good. Um, yeah. 
I've only played about 10 rounds. That's fair. I think my computer is hacked. I was really depressed and broke all my worries out 30 minutes later. Coldplay called me. He wanted to use it for lyrics. That's, I think. I think that's a compliment. Seems like you have some strong, strong emotional writing, writing, writing some capabilities. Minimal. I've had 13 or 14 wins and then a few crowns from the battle passing. <sighs> I have one crown from having leveled up. That's it. That's it. That's all I have. One crown from leveling up. I've won at 19 bean full mountain. No idea how the server spat that out, but I'm pretty proud of that one. That is actually very impressive. <laughs> I don't I don't know how that happened, but well done. It's a team games that do me in. I really like the egg one. Other than that, yeah, I'm not super keen on the team game. <laughs> the egg one, I've I love. Whether I win it or not, I genuinely don't care. I just love sitting in other people's nests and just being a mess. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm not keen on the team games. Shiny has on PC? No, because he, we haven't seen any reason for him to get it. Because it's like, he would only want to play it if, you know, he had people that he knew to, you know, play with. And he's like, well, I'd, he'd want to play it with me, right? After work. But there's no way for him to play it with me because it's not cross-compatible. So we've just been swapping around one lonely crown, I know. <laughs> one lonely crown. I actually used to write dark poetry when I was down. It was my way of getting it all out. Sadly, the poetry was not it crashed last month. So yeah, grrr. That is, that does, that does kind of suck. <sighs> is there no, I guess there's no way for it to be recovered or anything like that. But I guess it is time for new poetry. New, new horizons of new poetry, a new era. Of minimal. <laughs> Stand at the top of the desk and deny. Do you, do you play defense? Oh, I sit in someone else's nest and I'm just like, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Slime climb is my jam. I still struggle with slime climb, but I like it. Which I let you borrow the PC for a stream every once in a while? No, because it's his work PC as well, so I, I can't I can't use that for anything, unfortunately. Uh, also, because of the t he works right now, so all the times when I'm streaming, he's also working. Also, Lord, hi! How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Oh, dear. Oh, and thank you for the shout-out for Lord. I play striker on full ball though and good at diving headers. I have got a couple of diving headers that I'm very proud of. Oh dear. I climb is my favourite map. I I still am iffy on certain parts of slime climb. But I'm better at it than I used to be. I'm I'm it's a slow improvement on slime climb. Oh dear. Is a Mr. Munchkin? Well damn. Yeah. Shiny. That's, that's Mr. Downstairs. He'd be helping me out a lot, but actually, honestly, not that much. <laughs> I did set most of this up myself, but occasionally I, I require the extra piece of help. But he does um, help out a lot with photo shoots and stuff like that because I can't take the photos myself. That's nice. That's shiny. He doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes he's in chat, but not. He, he never talks. <laughs> Technically, he's the, he was the first mod, but again, he's kind of always been there, like, in case I desperately need help, but not not really. He's not a chatty. Not a chatty bloke. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing, because I chat for both of us, to be quite honest. Oh, dear. How am I today? I am good, thank you. Um, I've dyed my hair, so we have no roots, which honestly always leaves me very happy. That's like always one of the best bits. But, um, I don't know, it, I'm good. My hair is green, it doesn't show up on camera, which does, you know, has been the constant rant of this particular session, but I'm good. And now that we've been talking about Fall Guys, I kind of want to play Fall <laughs> It's just so relaxing. It's just so relaxing. I mean, this is relaxing too, but... They're relaxing in different ways, and one of them I get to become a bean. <laughs> oh dear, how are you doing, Wells? Oh dear, very nice. You've ironically titled Shiny. 
who lurks in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. If you gain the Twitch looking for love, you were spelting. Ah. To be fair, it's always nice to chat though. I really ruined this. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just like constantly trying to unwind it and I'm having a real issue. It's become a mess. I destroyed this. Oh dear. We, we won't date. <laughs> I don't know, unfortunately not, dear. <laughs> we just, we sew. We sew and we chat. And sometimes I rant. More more often recently, but that's because people being weird. And I, I think it's since I've got... You know what? This was bound to happen because people... I, I ended up getting... What's that app called? What's it called? The one where people were... Stupid. <laughs> no, I can't remember what it's called. I, I am joking, but... um. What's it called? Twitter! Yeah, that's the one! Twitter! <laughs> because some people didn't have Instagram and they wanted to see the final uh, product. And, um, yeah. Hardly so. I'm old enough to know most people's dads on here now. Nah, I just keep getting surprised so many people here have partners yet spend half their days on here. Yeah, so I spend um, my time streaming on here because, uh, well, first of all, I'm really chatty and I like talking a lot. But Shiny, he works you know, normal shifts from home now because of course nobody can go into work and so I'm kind of just like, well, I want to stay productive but also I'm a very chatty person and we're not really able to go around people's houses or do anything like that so it's very difficult for us to socialise really um, and as well with the migraines, I've been quite isolated at home for a long time so this started well before lockdown um, so I've been feeling quite isolated for a very very long time and so I'd been start thinking about streaming for a really, really long time. And, you know, I can't just talk with him all the time, especially not when he's working. So it makes sense for me to, you know, I, I just want to chat. I just want to chat and talk with people. And yeah, doing it while I would have been working anyway, I think makes the most sense. But because, well, he would have been working anyway, makes the most sense. So yeah, that's kind of. I, th I think, and this kind of has been like something that's made me really happy because it means that I get to chat with lots of people and but it's not put me in a place where I've had to do lots of physical stuff which would have given me migraines so it's been a really good balance of like I'm not making myself really ill but I still get to socialise and I don't feel quite so isolated at home all the time so that's been really nice that's, that's basically why I think I've mentioned it a couple times but like yeah, to the people that might be a bit newer, that was half the reason I started streaming, was that. The other half was to try and keep me being productive and sewing, because I want to keep sewing. Do you ever care for that? Ruined it. Oh well, type of fool, guys. <laughs> Very happy about that. You're just joking. Twitter, yeah. Twitter, Twitter got me ranting a lot recently, because I see things popping up on there and I'm like, why? Why? They all just left with the pot, uh, all the extra viewers left with the proclamation of a boyfriend. I mean, I think I've been pretty open about the fact that um, I'm dating Shiny. I mean, he helps with all the camera stuff and bits and bobs like that. He'd be, he be the boy for partner or whatever. <laughs> ah, dear. Sadly, you're not wrong there, Dev. <laughs> oh, dear. Bless. That's all right. Uh, well, I can play some Hollow Knight. I hope you know that I was joking and I like to hang out. I, oh no, Lord, that's fine. I absolutely. It's all good. Good. <laughs> Here we go. Uh. Oh, she knows we joke a lot here. Yeah, I'll be honest. This place here is mostly jokes <laughs> at this point. It's either jokes or it's rants. Jokes and rants, but not rants about the jokes. <laughs> rants about people on Twitter <laughs> being silly. 
silly sod. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's because I don't really post on Twitter very much, except for like, of course, like the final pieces and stuff like that. Because I'll be honest, I still don't really know how Twitter works. Uh, I follow a few people and the stuff that appears on my home screen, I don't know how it gets there. I just don't know how it gets there. I don't know how you're meant to see things on Twitter. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't really get it at all, but yeah. Oh, I also meant to demo not jelly, thought you- Oh, I thought you was going to date me one day. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lord. You never know. You never know. <laughs> hey, if it means free food, I'm going to date with a guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the eyes are high. How you doing? Oh, no, Dem. Sorry to disappoint. Is a straight dude. I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm so sorry. Sometimes it be like that. But it is the easy or the same, but you never know. You could go out and treat each other for food. <laughs> I, I don't know if that how that works, but you never know. How do I, how you doing? You're doing great. I am doing good, thank you. We we having a good time. We're pinning, we're pinning things. It it this one is being an absolute nightmare. So I, you know what? I might just stop this one here because this is just horrible. I'm not enjoying pinning this, and I might just do this because that that's just horrible it's horrible <laughs> i'm not enjoying pinning it it's being a nightmare and i don't like it so i'm just gonna do that and and stop <laughs> and use a different one because oh heck no to that oh dear bromances are a thing yeah bromances are a thing we treat each other to dinner have a lovely day out oh dear I've been on so many blind dates, I should get a free dog. Oh dear. I feel like the dog, uh, the the seeing eye dogs, they're quite difficult, aren't they? For a lot of people, like I feel like the waiting list for them are pretty damn long. I mean, I guess it, it's a lot of training for the dogs though. So I guess that would make sense as to why it's quite a long waiting list. But yeah. Hmm. I don't see very many of them though, so I guess I oh, could just be also. But like most of the people that I see that I have got some sort of sight, uh, something wrong with their sight, have the the stick, but not the dog. Could just be that they're not on the waiting list for the dog as well, though. I suppose I'm not sure exactly what the procedure is. As someone who doesn't know anyone that is has got any sort of issue with their sight. <laughs> So they train for like two years yeah it's a lot it's a lot of training it's, it's a heck of a lot of training for each of these dogs and a lot of them as well i don't think get through the training so they'll go like part way through but then it turns out they're not quite they haven't got like the right temperament or something like that so it's like they, they get part of the way through but unfortunately don't complete it so it's like a lot of training it's very expensive training but then unfortunately like they don't get the whole way through um so it's, you know not the dog's fault, but it, sometimes it'd be like that. Not always suited to the first dog you try. Mm, do I want to start from the top? Oh, yeah, I want to start from the top on that one. Like two to three, oh, even longer? I thought it was two years, but it could be even longer. I mean, it could also be different depending on the country. My God. Yeah, that is like the equivalent of a human doing like a 14 year degree. Jeez, I didn't even think of that. That's, the, that's a very long, a very long training. And girls. Oh. I mean, it, it is it is a lot to learn though, I suppose, because once they do go to someone who, who do, does need the help, you know, they can't really afford to, to mess up, but, whew a lot of training oh dang with them when a puppy is about eight weeks old it's placed in the home of a volunteer puppy raiser where it's taught basic obedience and socialization and given lots of love that one year old the dog returns to seeing eye and begins four month training course with a sighted instructor there's 1.3 years okay so it's not quite so long oh still quite long but it's not quite so long
Thank you for the learning with them, I appreciate it. That was, that was a good learning with them. Uh, yeah. My top is the same colour as this one. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? I am the same colour as this ruffle. Ho ho ho. What's happening up there? Nothing! I think probably what I'll do tomorrow is try to get some of these pinned and set up. Yeah, like set up before and so that when I come into the stream I can sew at least one side of it instantly because that way I might be able to get two wefts done in one stream because otherwise it does seem to be taken like most of the stream to get one done. I mean, long time just to get one, one, one ruffle done though. It does be a long time. <laughs> oh dear, it appears to have the only working copy of Google at times. Ye! You, you is, you is the, the only Google here. Well, it's because I don't like pushing Bob, I think. And you are in fact the best Google. <laughs> Oh dear. I left my Google on a bus. Whoa. I hope that you can find it at the, sh like, at the uh, Lost and Found bus. <laughs> I think the, 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 the New Forest bus people must have at least seven of my umbrellas. I left so many umbrellas on that bus. <laughs> if they still have them. I, oh, I left a lot of umbrellas on that bus. I left some good umbrellas on that bus though. I left one of the ones where you click the button and it shoots open on that bus. Good umbrella. I love that umbrella. I was gutted when I left that on the bus. It was a sad day. But also I never went and collected any of them because it was really far away. It, was like, it wasn't really worth my time to go and collect any of my umbrellas. Maybe once it hit past the five mark I honestly should have gone and collected them but I just didn't. I was, I was young. Young, I didn't assume that I'd need them. But now as an adult, I'm like, I could really do with those seven umbrellas. Oh dear. Googling in public? How lewd. No, is Googling in public lewd? Oh dear. Fine, I wear a trench coat. Oh no. Just nothing on the internet. Uh, I mean, I mean... It does seem like in some ways that could be a good way to go because the internet does be showing you some weird stuff sometimes. I found an interesting song, um, but I mean I don't really know what it's from. I don't even know if I could tell anyone else what it's from. But I think it's an anime and it's just like they've, they've basically taken I think all of the screams from the anime and then clip- speaking of anime feels very anime. No, no, this feels like very OMFG actually. But, um, or like Snail's House. But, uh, <laughs> it, it sounded like they, oh, have I pinned two of these things together? Oh, no. But, um, yeah, t they took all the screams from the anime and then turned it into a song. Very much like, like This Is Sparta style, but like with an anime. <laughs> it just popped up on my recommended. I don't know. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I liked it. Oh, uh, smart lad. Yeah, I trust nothing on the internet. Jelly will find found the Umbrella Corporation confirmed. Oh no, not the Umbrella Corporation I meant to find. Uh, found, but here we are. The Umbr Umbr Jelly Corporation. There it is. Umbr Jelly Corporation. Oh dear. Wow. Come on, that was the worst joke of the day. I, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Things of anime. Then so it goes into another anime compilation by saying, speaking on anime. <laughs> chocolate wine mixed with hot chocolate. Oh, is it good? I'm glad, I'm glad that your, your, your drink is delicious. Pretty sneaky, sis. I didn't do it. I didn't, I could have, but I didn't. But speaking of anime, <laughs> nah, 
<laughs> I, won't, I won't do it. I won't do it. Tempting, but won't. There was animes I could speak about because there's stuff coming out this season. Oh, oh. Some, there's some hot, there's some hot stuff coming out this season. Like, oh, stuff I could speak about, but I won't. I won't do it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna go make a hot chocolate and play Fall Guys. Do it. <laughs> I might also finish sewing this up and play Fall Guys. <laughs> I might like take a quick break on stream and then go play Fall Guys. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you start out with every intention to sew, but then you'll see in the corner of your eye the PS4, and it's like, you know, you should really. Right. So I really haven't had any wins yet. I just would be fun if. If I did just get one or two wins, that would just be really good. It would just be really nice to have one or two wins. Oh dear. Red wine mixed with Dutch chocolate. I'm really good though. Uh wait, see. Do Sunday's follow up single. <laughs> the only liquidy chucky I could stand was Bailey's and Dooley's back in the day. I <sighs> I like chocolate. <laughs> I do. Not so much in the summer because, you know, it's difficult to move places but like I do like chocolate <laughs> oh dear all work and no play makes jelly a dull girl yeah exactly right although this is kind of also play everything is play <laughs> there is only play the thing is I'm green I'm, I'm, the, the bean in, in Fall Guys I made it green because I dyed my hair green on Friday so it's like of course the bean is gonna match me um, I'm, I'm ready to, to play Fall Guys really Although I might, I'd have to restart the stream because um, I, yeah, yeah, I haven't worked out how else to do the Elgato, to be honest. But also, you know, I'd take a break anyway because food. <laughs> I might, I might just pop back in the evening or something. Maybe I'll just do a quick evening stream. I don't really do evening streams. You know, I don't really do that. But maybe I will do that today. Who knows? Wild. <laughs> Wild times. Oh wait, I could probably click this right now. I could probably click this right now. Bob is not having too bad of a time in this moment. You now will have a bad time because I've clicked this. Yeah, there we go. Listen to that angry Bob. Whoops, we're coming up dry. Either the page you want doesn't exist or... Yep, and I'm not going to enter my zip code. <laughs> uh... Can't view that link outside the US. Uh, my bean is black and white striped with boxing gloves and a helmet on it. Mine is a cactus and he's got like a little orange face and because it matches the cactus flower on top and he's got a dinosaur tail. <laughs> oh, the boxing gloves are really cute though. <laughs> that one is <laughs> a doctor about a zero. I think it's because this is generally, oh, on the link. Thanks for being so open. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Why are you be like this? Great minds. God damn it. Gutted minds think alike, yeah. Found a different one. Oh, Choco Vine. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that does look good though. There you go. Another one. Bringing bean in public as well. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll take a break. Stop screaming for a while. Eat some noodles because we have noodles for lunch. That's spicy noodles. Spicy noodles for a rainy day. And then I will come back and do some more, oh, guys. That sounds pretty fun. Yeah, split stream. The stream that is, in fact, split in half. Why not? <laughs> It'd be 
a bit different. <laughs> oh dear. Talk about your bean in public as well. As long as you don't flick it. Oh lord! Here we go! <laughs> Hope he wasn't googling his bead under the transcript. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, damn! Split. Dream. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. When your mod is the most rogue one in the chat, <laughs> or when one of your mods is the most rogue one in the chat, what do? Twitch. What do? <laughs> How did it end up being black and white? Oh god, when your mods are the most rogue ones in the chat. <laughs> Nobody is wearing trench coats in 2020. I really hope you didn't wear that. <laughs> so I need to add the S onto there because it's now plural when my mods most rogue ones in the chat. <laughs> Ban yourself. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm man too, my new idea from Marvel. A nocturnal nympho. I call it things that go hump in the night! <laughs> oh no! Googling is the one thing, but in a trench coat, come on, you're better than that. <laughs> Googling in a trench coat, guys. Oh, very intense. Google, how do I nuke channel? Google Scott's Earth Ban Lord's League Planet. God. My poor channel. <laughs> yeah, like what, four months ago, starts channel. Like, at what point do you think we're continuing? Like, should we be considered mature content, guys? I'm not sure. Like, I just don't know if the topics we're considered, like, talking about are, like, a little bit, like, a little bit mature. Like, I'm just not sure. Three months later, <laughs> Flick's been in trench coat in public. <laughs> Nukes chat, bans mods, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Mods are most rogue in chat. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think turning it to mature content was maybe one of the best decisions we made. Because there's no way this wouldn't be. <laughs> oh, God. Anything but mature content at this point. <laughs> a crafty jellyfish is no more. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ruined a crafty. I am a craft. Wait, what do you mean I ruined it? This is me. Lord. Oh god, I've ruined it. Who's me to wear a trench coat is to do a tenth Doctor cosplay. No trench coats, I do actually like genuinely. I actually think they're really cool. <laughs> I do. I do think trench coats are pretty cool though. Uh, I think actually they can be a really cool fashion statement. I think you can get a lot of really cool patterns on them. Some really cool patterned trench coats. A pattern trench coat. Pretty cool. Pretty cool though. Uh, but um, they do be pretty warm though. <laughs> to be fair, I asked you if you wanted to me to be better behaved after getting modded. You said not to change. I did say not to change. You don't need to change. It's fine. It's fine. The thing is, if I asked anyone in the chat to change, I myself would have to better my behaviour. And at that point... <laughs> We the people, we ruined it. <laughs> nah, it's alright. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> if you were David Tennant on 1920 Detective, yes, otherwise trench coats are creepy. But what about like a... What about like a, a checkered trench coat? What about them? What about them? What about them? What about What about like bright red? What about a bright red trench coat? What if you're doing a bright red trench coat? What then, Lord? That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I would never offer to clean up my behaviour. That's fine. You don't need to. But I appreciate that you would also not offer to change. <laughs> Dear, on the other hand, we know what we expected better from Shake's head. <laughs> did we? Did we expect better? I don't think we did. I don't think we expected better. Oh dear. <laughs> nah, I am who I am. If you don't want me, then it, wait, if you don't want me like that, it just wouldn't be my kind of community. But I feel very accepted here. Yeah, I'll be. 
this is the thing. Like, I try also to mainly raid channels that are also mature because we bring this audience. And sometimes we're really chill and like we, we have very chill conversations and it's like, you know, we have a lot of more relaxed and like quite like wholesome conversations too. But then sometimes it's not very wholesome here. <laughs> and so because of that, I try and raid more similar channels. Because although we are a sewing channel, which I feel like I have to kind of remind people, we, we are in fact a sewing channel uh, for the majority of the time. Um, but uh, it's not super wholesome here all the time. <laughs> oh dear. It only works if you are Carmen San Diego and don't ask how I know this. Yeah, or like, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, if you're, what about Alucard in a uh, Helsing? Doesn't he have a red, a red trench coat? Or is it just a very long red coat? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, what sort of mysterious globe hopping do you have planned? I don't know. I learned a thing today. What thing did you learn? Is it to do with wine? Bright Red Trench Coats is a female movie villain. I promise nothing in delivery even less. That's fair. Zero. Never become a villain. <laughs> I deliver even less. More and more getting the feeling jelly is a villain. I'm not a villain. I'm a, I'm a good bean. I'm a good bean, I promise. I, sta I try to stand for good things, but also I stand for jokes and I stand for giggles and I like to have a like fun time. Like, I don't want this to be a place where people can't have a good joke and laugh. And that's why we became mature content because if we didn't become mature content, people wouldn't be warned about the fact when they enter the channel that we have a good laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Uh. Wait, this is a mature channel? Yeah, so it should say when you enter the chat and also when you enter the channel for the first time that technically this is a mature channel. Um, which just gives you a warning that we will basically have sometimes swearing in the chat and also, yeah, basically jokes to this extent. Because, you know, although Twitch has, you know, you're not supposed to have a Twitch account if you're under the age of 13, sometimes the topics that come into this because we do also, for instance, like on Friday, no, Thursday, we had that huge round about like women's figure types and although I think that that is something that basically all ages can hear, with the subject at hand some people might argue that it's like not acceptable for all ages. With stuff like that, because it toes a line, we put the mature content rating on it and stuff like that, but yeah. And also because there is occasionally swearing in the chat. Yeah. It just means when people enter the, the, the stream for the first time, you're just agreeing that that's the kind of mature content you expect. It's not because I swear like a sailor, although I will say like bugger bloody in the occasional fuck, but um, it, it's not it's not any m more than that really. It's more because of the topics we speak about. Um, yeah. So <laughs> Unpredictable, hi, how you doing? Welcome, I hope you're having a good time. I heard the card name card in San Diego before. How are you doing? So I've had to scroll up a little bit. Who dees? She, she pretty. But I don't know too much about her. Oh dear. If you have your language setting on Twitch US, Twitch rounds the channel points and follow account. English UK shows the exact numbers. Oh, wait, really? Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Hi, beautiful lady. Hi, unpredictable. Lord, it's a Tartine character in, from Netflix set of teen female Indie Jones. Fair enough. Finally, someone's standing up for giggles. Giggles very important. Thank you. Yes, we shout out. I never saw it. Yeah, it, it, it probably would have only ever shown the first time you popped into the channel. Sometimes we say bum. <laughs> we try not to, but it happens. You, yeah. <laughs> if you come in on a raid, it... Ah, oh, right. It never shows a map. Right. So if you pop in on a raid, that is true. I have to get better at that, actually. Oh, dear. Winter, hi, how you doing? Yar, the sailor pirate. How you doing, Winter? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome. We we are going to finish this ruffle, right? But then we might be taking a quick break in the stream so I can eat some noodles and then set up full, guys. Oh, dear. 
Daddy back in the occasional fuck new brownie. <laughs> cool <laughs> Oh dear, I feel like it's a the sewing channel where you need to stab yourself periodically. It needs a mature- yeah, oh, don't get me wrong, some people can stab themselves with needles consistently and they'll just be like, hmm. You know, I'm pretty good, to be honest myself. Like, when I do stab myself with a needle, swearing isn't the first thing I go to. I normally just go, ooh! <laughs> like, um, it is, it's not swearing isn't normally the first thing I go to, but, um, I do swear. And also, Again, it's more to do with the topics we talk about, to be fair. Because we will talk about topics that are definitely probably more mature. And the way, you know, again, it's jokes. It's the jokes. It's the jokes. Oh. Oh. Oh, winter. Oh, winter. Oh, winter. I didn't even see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> Die. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. We got it. We got it. Oh, you hugged Winter, but then you also deleted his message. <laughs> oh dear. I swear like a truck type phone into hell. You got raised by porn stars and thieves. That's a good, that's a good. To be fair, I don't swear when needed. I swear at the sewing machine, definitely at the silk chiffon. Oh God, silk chiffon. I don't even buy that stuff generally, unless I like, I can like use the smallest amount and maybe like burn it. <laughs> like the edges or something like that. I hate, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> Hate it, it's expensive, not worth it. <laughs> to me, no, not worth it. Hate it. <laughs> oh dear. It said, stand up to bullies. He's right, stand up to bullies. Wedding dresses and belly dancer costumes. Oh, oh, unpredictable. I'm sorry. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. That is, yeah, yeah I can imagine you have to use it a lot. And a best friend who needed both. Oh dear. Bless you and your patience. Because that's a, oh. That's a off. I bullied. Damn. Damn, how could you? Circle skirts, rolled hems. Rolled hems, I've kind of gotten to have, like, I've done a lot of circle skirts and I've done a lot of rolled hems. I've kind of gotten to a point where they don't anger me as much as they used to. I didn't even realize I was doing them for a long time, to be honest, uh, when I was younger, because I did a lot of, lot of them. So now when I do them, they anger me less because I did them for so many years without realizing what I was doing. But they, yeah, they, oh, don't get me wrong, they're a nightmare. They are a nightmare. <gasps> I love you for feeling my pain. Dem likes to delete me anytime I stand up to the spoon. Yeah, he does. I looked at it. I looked at it. I looked at it. And I read it. Because you're right, he does like to delete you whenever you bring the spoon. Dem has finally gotten drunk with power and not just chalky wine. <laughs> chalky wine. I, lo I love that. <laughs> chalky wine. Uh, I found the trick with them for silk is to iron the first eighth of an inch over before doing the roll and sew. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's not, okay. I could, I could do that. I have my ironing board pretty close to hand whenever. Like the first few streams I ever did on Twitch started with me ironing for like two hours. And I was like, I'm really sorry. Probably a real stream, but I'm just ironing. Oh my God. But um, it's cause I needed to, I need to iron. <laughs> oh dear. So I do this to winter vibe in the four channels. You do, ironing is important. It is. I had to iron and I was like, so I didn't really think ahead and I was like, I just, I kind of have to iron this. <laughs> oh. Watch out, Jelly! <laughs> there was also like to bully his streamers. He kind of, I don't know, because on this channel, I, it, it's difficult because I kind of just go along with whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're a little bit like, maybe, I don't know about Nat uh, as much because like, that's pretty, I guess, it seems quite similar to me, <laughs> and it's pretty like the Wild West more, more Wild West in the topics that come up maybe, because it's gaming I suppose a lot of the time, it's like you kind of follow the game, whereas I feel like McDoodle is a very sweet bean, so <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, wait, you bully Nat? No! Can't bully Nat. Uh, you can sew so much better if you iron properly. This is true. It's true. 
I, it, it does make it easy. I mean, I can't iron a lot of bits and bobs like these. If I iron them, would become a very different texture. They become much flatter, and I don't want that. But like, yeah, ironing it does make so it's so much easier. And um, I try to iron quite often if I am going to do it before streams, um, because I don't, I don't, I don't like showing all the ironing. Because like, I do feel kind of bad as being like, "Hi guys, welcome to my ironing board." But like, uh, it, it does. And also, of course, if I've painted anything, I have to set the paint, and then it's like, well, I have to iron it then. It's quite bad, but it's like, yo, I have to do it. Oh dear, Jelly has been taking uh, a Neville Chamberlain type approach to them. I'm sure it'll work out fine. I don't delete Wither's message on McDoodle's channel, just the spoon. That's, yeah, I was gonna say, like, I feel like McDoodle would be like, no. He's too sweet and lovely. Ironing a corset chest, for example, key. Yeah, you have to. Everything gotta be flat. Everything gotta be flat. Oh dear. I did it. I do off stream. <laughs> it's okay. We stand up to police in four channels. <laughs> Alright, kids and kittens, I'm officially so overly tired that I'm about to sleep. Oh no! So give them a try to sleep. Yes! Mineral trades, please get a lovely night's sleep. I hope that I hope that you feel much better tomorrow. Thank you for popping by. Fingers crossed you feel good tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. Do my sub now, please. Show me your ironing board. <laughs> oh no! I wait. I need so much. So much dando. Please, so much dando. Maybe, maybe I'll get it later. <laughs> I'm pitying right now. <laughs> I like that she's acting like she's on your side, but also threatens you with the spoon. This is true, this is true. True though, yeah, this is true. I also threaten you with the spoon, but not on my channel. I threaten you on, on Shifty Bloke's channel. That's because I'm like, I really don't know what I'm meant to do as a mod. So it's like, I kind of just follow whatever Dem does, but only when I'm modding. <laughs> it's like, Dem threatens people with spoons. Okay, I can do that. Winter comes into chat. Winter. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm making hot chocolate lovely. Lovely. I'm loving the texture achievement with these ruffles. Yeah, it's gonna, and also because they're quite 3D, it's difficult to show, but because they're three layers thick, when they'll be on the head, they'll they'll shove each other aside quite a lot. That's not a great way of putting it, but they'll shove each other aside quite a lot. Um, and then they'll sort of create that extra poofiness by shoving each other aside. Um, because they could, should all lay quite flat. So they'll just be like, BAM! This should be quite good. Oh dear. Sleep. I also hope you sleep in the- I didn't even stop it was a joke. Don't show me your ironing board for free. Oh yeah, it's just paying subs only. The ironing board. No, I can show it. It's like... Just, just for you, Lord. That's my ironing board. <laughs> Whoa. A sneaky peek of the ironing board. It's just kind of like a little bit difficult to grab because it's just a little out of reach. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! No, Lord! Wait, damn! Don't give the Lord just because I. <laughs> that wasn't the intention. Oh, also say hi. Thank you for the boop. Your role models are Budley. Is. How do I get to be threatened with a spoon? This sounds amusing. Uh, it's Shifty Bloke's stream. I threaten people with spoons. <laughs> I'm your mod role model. The future streamers are screwed. Yeah. Long sleeves in that weather. I know it's not woman, but it's still above 20. So I basically just dyed my hair green, say, and um, I know it doesn't look green, but it is green. And so I wore a green top, but it, it is long sleeve. And it's, it's also turtlenecked. It's very warm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dem. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Maybe me. For a meme. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, I hope everyone enjoyed seeing my ironing board. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I keep it behind the uh, the laptop, but because it's like right behind it, it's like pulling it around. But it, it put it. <laughs> It works as a nice backboard to it, so it stops a bit of light coming through. All the good memes require effort. 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, this is the online. Thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Welcome. The memes. You did dismiss the ironing board. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was like that you wanted to see. But yeah, on on a on Shifty Books channel, I uh, I, I threaten people with spoons <laughs> because because I I'm not really a mod normally, but um you know Shifty Bloke mods on mine, and I offered to mod on his, and you know I do my best. I don't I'm not normally a mod, but I'm I'm learning. I'm doing a big learn. And there we go. Get that zigzag in there. Oh dear, so we got a horn. No, it is too do. Oh, there, there it be. There's that horn. Oh lord. Oh lord. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> and I will check the other side in just a second to make sure it's gone through both sides fine. This. It's always a bit of a nightmare because this fabric doesn't like ruffling. Hopefully all the rest of them should be a little easier except maybe the cord, but that's okay. That's okay. The plastic, funnily enough, is like the best one to sew. I love sewing the Dunelm plastic. Dunelm plastic, best plastic. <laughs> Would sew again. It's, it's, it is weird to me that the plastic has ended up being like literally one of the most easy ones to sew. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> didn't offer to mod for me. I didn't think you'd want me to mod for you. I mean, first of all, I think you stream at like when I'm asleep, but you want a mod that's, that's asleep. I, I could try. Sometimes I'm around right at the end of your streams. I can mod at the end of your streams if you like. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> oh dear. But I think that would be the main issue is I wouldn't unfortunately be able to be around for like any of the beginning -y bits. But I'm happy to mod at the end. Although I will warn you, I am trash, but I will threaten people with spoons. <laughs> See now that I can do. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh. How do you get your sewing machine to not be the most awful noise on the mic? Um, is it not? <laughs> um, what I did is, this is gonna sound really kind of rubbishy. It's, it's not the best. Well, I kind of did. So first of all, this microphone is really, really cheap. It's not great and I will upgrade it at some point to try and make this a bit of a better setup for everyone. Um, I added a uh, doopy doopy doo. I'll get it so that you can I can tell you exactly what I did actually because it's probably going to be the best. So um, I added noise suppression and a noise gate on the mic. I think that's pretty common on a lot of streams. Um, but I basically tweaked it a lot until when I was sewing and uh, when I was not sewing it sounded good both ways and I did a lot of recording so I liked it. Um, I it, it, it wasn't good for a really really long time at the end of it my noise suppression is at minus 30 um, and on the noise gate I have a close threshold of minus 31 and an open threshold of minus 29 and then attack time 25 hold time 200 release time 150 um, I can clip that if you like and pop that somewhere if anyone's interested that's how I've done it with my particular microphone and that's what makes it sound like this. This is on a very cheap microphone though. If you have a better microphone than that, it might sound better, but that's how I've got it. And also I have to keep my microphone quite far away from my mouth because if it goes close to my mouth, this microphone picks up horrible sounds. But again, this microphone headset costs 15 quid. So it's really cheap. Oh dear, I see it like 4am for you anyway. Oh dear, that's because you want to keep all the power to yourself. Oh, uh, thank you for offering. That's okay. I don't know if she can keep me winged or green turtle in check. I don't know if I could either. I don't know if I could. There's power. There's a lot of power there. Read four times a week, usually. No schedule at the moment. That's fair. Dem has a whack, wacky schedule on Twitch. The wackiest schedule on Twitch. I don't really ha need to mod at the moment. Only had like two trolls. That's good though. I'm glad that you're not getting too many. 
I'm on GMT plus four, so it's weird for me. Yes, please. Yeah, I can I can um pop that as like a highlight or something so you can pop that in. Again, I don't know if those specific settings will work for you, but you can always pop them in as like a start and then do a few recordings with like it going up and down a little bit, see what works for you. Because again, if you have a slightly better microphone, you, you might be able to get away with a bit more, but like for me, th that was the best I could get it. And it took me like, I think three evenings of working on it to get it to a sound where I was actually happy with it. And oh, it, it was, that was before I think I even started streaming and the microphone was the worst bit for me because again, I, I have a really, really cheap headset. So it was a lot of tinkering around with it. I did do an unplanned 12 hour stream on Saturday just cause Jesus Christ. See that, I did one 12 hour stream and it killed me, killed me. I think being in cosplay for the like majority of it probably didn't help, but oh, I was so tired. Wow, I turned my coffee machine back on so I could have fluffy milk in my hot chocolate. You gotta do it right. Sounds delicious, Zero. Also, welcome back. That sounds amazing. Ah, oh, dear. Thank you for the follow. Ah, uh, thank you for the follow. Yeah. Doing audio setup alone is impossible. Yeah, it's a lot of just fiddling, fiddling around with bits and bobs like what good, what not good. I'm not sure. And yeah, hoping that eventually it gets to a point where you're happy with it. I mean, when I do eventually update things and maybe get like a slightly better mic, I mean, I, I would eventually like to get one which isn't a headset, partly so that I can maybe wear my glasses sometimes because to be honest, it would just be nice to be able to wear my glasses sometimes when I sew on stream. Um, yo, I do wear glasses. <laughs> um, I just can't wear them with the headset and um, stuff like that. But also just, you know, improving the quality would be nice. But yeah, then I have to read it all over again. I haven't done any sewing streams yet because I'm worried about that. Um, I mean, even, do you have, if you don't mind me asking, I'm predictable. Do you have a separate microphone to your headset or is it all in one? If it's if it's all in one, I feel like probably the measurements that I gave you probably would be pretty good. Hopefully you should be able to just input those straight away. Um, but yeah, just make sure you do some tests with, with the sewing machine because on the off chance your sewing machine is much louder than mine. Although I will say my sewing machine is pretty damn loud. Um, like I, I love this sewing machine, but like, oh. It's louder than my old one, for sure. It's, it's a loud, loud bean. <laughs> oh dear. I don't have a migraine issue like you do though. It must have been awful for you. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's okay. Like, it's, it's I, I did that fully knowing that I'd probably have a migraine at the end of it. So it's like, you know, that was my choice. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you he only stopped when Wing Toad listed his first view. Oh, that's fair. Oh dear. Is that a want for more trolls in your stream, Dem? Flexes troll muscles. <laughs> oh no, I stopped after we completely completed the middle island section. I saw he was doing and I looked for a raid. Yeah, nice. I have a webcam with a mic and I have a lapel mic that I haven't played with yet. A lapel mic? Ooh, okay. Okay, I have no idea about that. Um, a lapel mic, so that, that's, that's completely out of my oof, knowledge range. But <laughs> um, I guess it'd be a similar distance away from from your mouth, but it might be a lot more sensitive than than what I'm using right now. I'm not sure because I guess with 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 my microphone, it's meant to be right next to my mouth, right? But like, if I have it right next to my mouth, it's it's awful. It's awful. It's generally, I hate it. I hate what it sounds like. So I've got it kind of the settings right now for it to be where I have it, which is kind of over my eye. <laughs> oh dear. The webcam one. I don't, it I guess it depends on the webcam, but I mean, I, one of the, the one up there that I use is, is technically a webcam, but the audio from it isn't super great. So I don't know, it, it could be different for you. I don't, I actually think the, the microphone that's in my headset is actually better than the microphone in the webcam. Even though the webcam is expensive, it's like, this is actually better <laughs> somehow. Oh dear, I have AirPods for, li AirPods for listening a bit. Nice. Okay. 
I've actually got quite a, quite a, probably much better to set up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, do the do the shout out for Winged. Um, it was a gift for my friend because he wanted to support my streaming. Nice. I feel like the the little the clip on one would probably put it at a similar distance from the mouth, and it'd probably have a pretty decent mic in it. Okay. Huh. Well, I shall send you. Oh no, I shall pop, pop it in a clip. You can pop those in. This, is this noise gate and suppression, I think, are pretty necessary. And and also they they take away all like the um or like the majority of like you know when you're talking and you're like smacking your lips and stuff. <laughs> they take away a lot of that, which is good. At least in, in my mind, unless you're doing like ASMR or something, and you want the, the lips smacking in. They take away a lot of that, which is nice, so I don't have to worry so much about like smacking my lips <laughs> all the time. Not that I am just sitting here smacking my lips, but if I was, I wouldn't have to worry about it. So that's pretty good. It's one less stress. Oh dear. Prepare your. <laughs> Wait, what do I need to prepare? Prepare my squad. <laughs> if you do, it can sometimes become quite a battleground. Okay. Webcam might suck. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't want to make too much of a judgment, but like, at least in my experience, the webcam mics that I've had have been really, really bad. I like how Jelly keeps her mic up high. It took me a long time not to think of this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I keep my mic up really, really high. Um, it does kind of look like that. But again, it is just because of the setup that I've done with my microphone in particular. I have to keep it up really high. Uh, but it does look like, yeah, got some DBZ. Absolutely, it's good. It's got those vibes. It's got those vibes. I see hours of tech fiddling in my future. I think those are called plosives. Yeah, I think they are called plosives, but I just called them the... The blip 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 sounds. <laughs> You don't get any of the blip blip sounds, which is good. You don't want those blip 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 sounds. Maybe you do, unless you're doing ASMR. And you want them. <laughs> but I think most people are looking to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> smacking lips, weird kink, but I won't judge. I mean, some people really like the, the smacking lip sounds, but personally, I'm not looking to include them in, in too much. Like, I, I kind of want to remove them, but like, some people really like, like smacking, smacking the lips. Fair enough. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> it ain't for me, but oh dear. Yeah, the beep, 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 beep sounds. <laughs> but it's also like you know, I want to. What I did was when I was doing all of the recordings, I must have sound like a madman up here. But I was just sat in here like, <laughs> here is my voice speaking normally. Here is my voice when I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> in the room and then I was like with the machine here is my voice when I'm sewing and speaking normally here is my voice when I'm sewing and speaking normally and excited <laughs> 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 to make sure that like it all sounded good <laughs> and then I'd have to tweak it and then do it again <laughs> to make sure it still sounded good so I was just doing it over and over and over again <laughs> Like just sat in my room and like I'll be honest, I didn't do that during the day. I did that at like night. <laughs> so it was like it was not it was not when <laughs> it was not when people were at work. It was it was when people were at home. So I'm sure people could hear me doing this. Oh my god. A jelly ASMR when <laughs> I don't think I'd be very good at ASMR. I don't think I could do it without giggling. <laughs> You would sound like an alien trying to figure out how to pass as a human. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. I don't know how anyone else figures out their audio because that's how I did it. <laughs> it's like, is this not how other people do this? Because that's how I did this. Sound like you did it pretty scientifically. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I pr approached it very scientifically. I don't know. Because like, you know, I didn't want to be peeking if I started, uh, you know, yelling a bit. I, I, I know that I get pretty overexcited pretty easily. So it's like the chance of me getting a bit excited and like 
talking a bit louder when speaking about an anime I love, for instance. Like, that's probably gonna happen. So I wanna make sure that it could handle it to an extent. <laughs> a sciencey jellyfish. Yeah. Oh, you just say hello a bunch usually? You don't say anything more than that? Oh, I did whole sentences. Because I was like, I want to make sure that it's not just like, you know, taking a word and then it happens to work, but then when I actually do it, do a stream, it doesn't work because I only did one word. Oh, I did like whole sentences. And like, most of the recordings were like 30 seconds long each time. So I'd be like, and now I'm talking quietly and this is my normal voice. And now I'm talking loudly because I'm excited. <laughs> and then I do the sewing version with the machine. Technically, hello is a whole sentence. I mean, I guess, yes. Hello is a whole sentence. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, and yeah, then I'd also do it with the music in the background as well. So I'd be like... <laughs> so I'd be like, and here we are in the background, and I'm talking, and now we even turn the music on, and how do I sound with the music on? Okay, and now here we have the sewing machine on, and now I've got, I'm excited, and now I am quiet again. And now the sewing machine is still on, and we have the music on in the background. I've turned the music off, but the sewing machine is still sewing. <laughs> and that would be my recording. <laughs> And then I'd listen to it back and see how I sounded at all of those different volumes and like uh, with the sewing machine in the background and you know with the music and yep. <laughs> Again, to anyone listening to it I would have sounded absolutely mental but it got it done. <laughs> it was really difficult to make this, this this trashy mic sound anything close to my actual voice, but here we are. We got there. I'm pretty okay with how my voice sounds. It, it sounds somewhat like how I actually sound, which is, you know what, all I could have actually asked for, to be quite honest. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, thank you for the audio lesson, I much appreciate it. Oh no, sorry, I'm not a great person to, to ask, to be quite honest, because as you can probably tell, I'm a complete amateur. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I appreciate it. I'll put the clip of all the, um, whatchamacallits in, uh, in the afterwards. I, I, I can only do it at the end of the stream, but I will, I will do that at the end so you've got all the actual numbers, which is probably the most helpful bit. <laughs> uh, I planned a test stream about 30 minutes before saying, nah, I can't bother to just have the first actual stream at the time. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't do a test stream either, I don't think. By the time I got to the point of doing my first stream, I... Bear in mind though, I suppose I didn't really build any rapport with people before. Like I'd watched a lot of streams, don't get me wrong, but like I didn't mod for anyone or do anything like that. So I didn't really expect anyone to turn up to my first stream. So I didn't really have any nervousness about that. Uh, I just kind of did my first stream and was like, yeah. If it goes really badly wrong, at least I don't think anyone will see it. So, <laughs> uh... Uh, yeah, I didn't really do a test stream. What was the question? It's good. Oh dear. Uh, no, I think I was just doing the the audio. Your sound is better than mine, so by definition, talk don't help. I mean, I <laughs> yeah, I I, I I try and help if I can, but yeah. I have to- I, I recognise that I am a complete amateur. <laughs> and anything that I have learnt has been by trial and error. And a lot of that's been error. <laughs> oh. It's been fun error, to be fair. Like, as much as it's it's been a lot of error, like, I've quite enjoyed it. <laughs> it's been a lot of very funny errors. Like, some of the stuff that my voice has done during these errors has been bloody hilarious. I should have kept a lot of the clips because some of the recordings I'd be like, now how the hell's that happened? Where's my voice gone? What's this happened? The gate's gone way too high, or the, you know, I've just lost my voice completely. Or like you can you <laughs> you can only hear me when the sewing machine is running. Stuff like that. Very funny. Big giggles. I enjoyed that. That's how you learn. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I have some good good giggles at those sort of things. <laughs> uh, it's silly, but I enjoyed it. I think also because I was very excited just to start streaming, so at that point I was just like, hey, hey. <laughs> right, that should be. Mew. A. A little more roughly. Another weft. This is a shorter one. Then. Let me just pop it next to a, a long boy weft. If I put them this way around. Maybe if I go on to... I'll just go on to long screen real quick. My last stream was just, I'm going to play with paint on canvas I haven't used in years. Wonder what will happen. And the highlight of the stream was when my cat decided to walk through the paint palette and learn how to clean paint off. Angry cat's foot. Oh, bless. Oh, no. That's very sweet, though. So that's like the, the length difference. So it's like a bit of length difference, but when we lay them on top of each other, uh, that one is the right way up. Get like a nice little layer effect. Should be pretty cute. Because hair isn't normally all the same length. So having like a bit of difference would be good, I think. Yeah. When you stream on Twitch and somebody shows up, shocked. <laughs> Are we on our fifth or sixth fluffle? This is our fifth. Also, hi! Is that Jijo Kaneko? Hi, how you doing? Oh my god. Right, we'll go back to the main cam because I think you can see the difference. But it should be now that we'll have... Oh wait, I should go to just face cam so you can see this. So, like, if imagine that one goes from there, then this one could go from the top and it'll add even more definition. It's character. Yeah. Got some hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's like a cascade of ruffles. Yay. A cascade of ruffles. You can kind of see this is just two. And it looks pretty thick. With just two. <gasps> because they're double layered, so they're double sided as well. Because they're double sided, it becomes really thick really quickly. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Right, let's get this pinned onto the the cascade. This side is front. And uh, that's back. This is the front. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear, your hair dye blends with it. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got I got the good under hair for it. <laughs> Oh dear, it's going to be heavy. It is going to be heavy. I mean, the fact that on the design it has got a centre parting, I think it's going to help me quite a bit. Do some neck buffing and neck buffing to wear it. It's, it's going to be a hefty one, but I don't think it should be too much heavier than like a really long wig is normally, is my hope. Oh dear. I just took a short listen to your last year. It doesn't sound bad. A little harm from the rest about it. Your OBS slider could help with that. Could also mask it for playing voice to free music. I mean, if it's just a general room hum, wouldn't just a a noise gate stop that? Generally, just pop in a noise gate. Any background slight noise would be taken out immediately by a noise gate, don't you think? And then again, like using a a uh, a noise compressor as well would just make that a little bit more smooth. Again, just just a because it's just a quick pop pop it in. Uh, and yeah, the slider as well. It, it, it shouldn't be too. Oh yeah, if you want as well. Actually, let me just do a new clip so it's like right near the end. Um, just so you have all of my levels right now. Um, I don't know if you use OBS or Streamlabs OBS, but I think that the levels would be the same on this. Well, this probably give you all of my levels. Um, and I'll do it all in one because then I can I can do a quick clip that will be all together. Um. And that way I can do it all at once. So for anyone who is interested in all of my audio my jazz, um, I have my desktop audio set at minus 18.7 dB, my mic audio set at minus 3.2 dB, um, my suppression, uh, sorry, I have, I have noise, uh, two filters, so I have noise suppression and noise gate. On the noise suppression level, it is minus 30. On noise gate, I have the close threshold 
is minus 32 and the open threshold is minus 29. I have the attack time at 25, the hold time at 200 and the release time at 150. And that is everything. <laughs> that's, that's, I think that's everything. Uh, so that's my sliders and that is my filters. Uh, I'll put that in a clip and do that. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that gets me rid of any background noises. That means you can't hear my fans. That means you can't hear like them blip, 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 blip noises. Um, it means like when Bob does start wearing, you can't hear him wearing. Um, like even if I get pretty close. Can't hear him. Uh, so, cause he's making noise right now and you can't hear it because it, it doesn't hit the noise gate. Uh, but all you can hear is me through the microphone. Um, I assume as well, like, hit the noise gate, be tapping, stuff like that. But louder noises would. Stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> sounds pretty good. No room echo. So yeah, sounds good. I haven't decided on music yet. That's fair. I use pretzel rocks. It's, it's at the moment. It's free. I did use uh, epidemic sound. It's good, but it does cost money after time. And also, it's a bit of a pain trying to set up the playlists. Um, never used a noise gate. I know of them, but can't speak of them as I'm inexperienced in that realm. That's fair. I mean, you have all of my details. If you want to copy paste them, you can. <laughs> I've never used, oh sorry, Jelly just had us all listen to some random stuff for a while until we all like the playlist. This is true. Is that Eri? Hi, how you doing? What's up? I can only speak Japanese. I like cosplay. I am watching, but I am watching, I'm watching. I like making costumes and I just for cosplay. Oh, you also make stuff. That's really cool. Um, I do the same and I find someone that is making stuff and then I watch them while I also craft. That's pretty cool. You look tired, everything fine. I have not been sleeping well, but yes, I am fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so I, I've had some, because it's been really stormy and because it's when it's stormy, I wake up like this. <laughs> I Basically everything wakes me up. But other than that, I am good. Yeah. Oh, wait. Thank you, Dem. Oh, I've done it. I've done it again. I'm so sorry, Bob. I have opened this in the wrong thing. You make mini figures? Oh. Sorry, we like crafty people here, so. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God. Hey, that's so adorable. <laughs> oh my God, we have so many crafty people that enter this chat. I love it so much. Oh dear. Amazing. But yeah. Right, I have to remember to also <laughs> make sure that I do this and clip things, clip things. Stuff like that. Oh dear. Shindy Fluke, hi, how you doing? Oh wait, thank you for the follow. That's very kind of you. Oh dear. Bob is angry. Bob is angry. Yay, Shifty. With clay. Oh, it's cool. Wait, you clipped the thing? Oh, thank you, unpredictable. That was very unpredictable. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh, I don't have to do it. Sorry to hear that. Not been getting much sleep either. Hope you get better. Oh yeah, I'm fine. It's just because um we've had a lot of thunderstorms in the UK recently, and because it's very loud at night, um you, you, I don't I I wake up like if, if if there's a loud noise, if a big truck goes by, I wake up. So like thunder. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I'm fine. Oh dear. Ah. <gasps> ah. Oh, what happened? You shifty blue it's you, how could you? Drunk on power, you said that was it. I do take instructions. Oh wait, thank you, that's very kind of you. Oh dear, I was gonna put that in a clip, but thank you. <laughs> right, well, we're gonna take a quick break. Do clay art, every art, everything. Aww. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looked amazing. When I had a look at your channel just now, it looked incredible. <laughs> like, it looks so good. Oh dear. 
Uh, Kaneka, that looks incredible. Right, we're taking a quick break actually, because I'm going to be going offline for maybe like an hour or so, so that I can have some lunch and set up Fall Guys. So I do actually have to go offline while I do this. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I have to go offline. Uh, so I'll probably host someone else for like an hour and then, uh, oh, fair enough, you need to go to sleep. You go to sleep. Please have a lovely sleep and predictable. And good luck with setting up the audio. I hope that that helps a little bit and you managed to fix it so we can see some sewing. Nat is on. Is Nat on? What is Nat doing? What be Nat doing? Doing The Last of Us? Oh, but she's not, she's not live live yet. Oh dear. Not live live yet. Oh dear. Made her getting ready screen. That's a rude, but I might do that. I can read that message even though it's deleted. Or oh, sigh. How you doing that? okay because it was just winter being a, being a good bean she loves that okay nobody is live you need to keep streaming forever wait jelly damn what is it i mean i will be coming back you be we do both have ps4 for guys we do you should play together i mean i'd love to play with nat but she's playing i mean i'm also not gonna drag her away from the last of us because I know that she's quite near the end, isn't she? Well, that's what she said. Right, we're gonna bother her though, because I can. She's off her screen though. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't get there fast enough. Right, the plan is, I'm going to raid Nat, and then I'm gonna come back in like an hour. It'd be so hilarious. I mean, I'd love to stream with Nat. That'd be so fun. But um, we need shifty boot. When is next stream? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna raid Nat. Be back in like an hour after I've eaten something, and then I'll have set up full guys. M give me like a little leeway because, uh, as you know, sometimes it takes me a while to get the PS4 set up, but I'll do that and eat, and then we'll play beans because I want to play beans. Might be streeting otherwise, uh, streeting? streaming otherwise later, otherwise Wednesday. Lovely, lovely. Full beans, full beans. Ah oh dear. Right, let's set this up then. For the nap. And then, yeah, full guys a bit later, but I have to set it up and I need to eat. So, we'll bother for the nap in the meantime. Because we love nap. <laughs> Must follow Shifty Boop to be threatened by spoons. Where we do the threatening. Ah <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Oh, no oh god, no blue man. Thank you so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. Right at the end, <laughs> we're gonna go for the nat, and then we'll be back in. Well, like, we're gonna be doing double stream today. We'll be back in like an hour, playing some full guys. Ah oh, dear, my stream is a spoon stronghold. It is actually to be fair. There's so many spoons in your stream. Ah oh, dear, but thank you everybody who did turn up for the first half of the stream, and we're gonna show lots and lots of love to Nat, who is playing The Last of Us, and she's also a cosplayer, she's incredibly talented, deserves all of the love, and yeah, thank you everybody who did turn up for the first half, and I hope you enjoy, if you don't, if you're busy or you're going away, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you enjoy Nat's stream, and yeah, I'll see everybody soon, take care. <laughs>